Alrighty, I am back. Sorry about that, guys. Had a little take a little bit longer than I thought, so I had to talk to somebody on the phone. Okay, sorry about that. Get back and uh, chat with the guys here. All the cable lines are super old in this house. What up, and uh, it worked for about eight hours and just quit. <laughs> sorry, I just came back out of nowhere. My microphone, I mean, he had to mute my mic and everything. Oh, yeah. on, a, on a phone call there we are back though we just finished the field just finished the uh big field over there awesome dudes awesome you you want me to clean up that north line a little bit or is that good uh let me take a look at the map here real quick uh you can clean it up a little bit and just kind of square it off should be okay Ten four. i'm gonna buy no we can't buy anything at the moment okay ads i don't need no stinking ads yeah, just got to get them out of the way so that way we can uh, get going for the rest of the uh, couple. We've got another two hours to go, so. Yeah, Axe. Dude, thank you much for the uh, follow, guys. Okay, so. Toby's got a couple things she's going to be taking care of, so. Uh, yeah. The BS dudes here. So, we need to get to March. But we also need to take care of the we really don't have to if we want to just bump turbo turbo bumping in do we need the lime any of the other fields oh uh, let me take a look here that's a good question we definitely have to do the new one uh yeah the new one's got to be limed for oh, that's sure. a shame your case is so big and so slow yeah the case <laughs> the, the jcbs are, are really nice yeah they are it's so pay small bills. And has so much power Ads do buy groceries and put food on the table, that's for sure. Especially lately. Since they've done a lot of changes to their ad revenue and stuff like that, right? So, damn, I even forgot to put an ad marker in. <laughs> I'm just, I'm slacking today. You killed yourself the other night with that. No, that was actually not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, okay. This for you, Dopey. <laughs> and fuck, hold on. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I can just kick her from the game. Hold on. <laughs> oh, I ran into her tractor. Uh, if you wanted any straighter, you got a Bob Ross it. Oh, it's it's all good. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it, like being super super straight. Like it really, and it's like it's you know, it's close enough. It's good. Do we need to do anything with the grapes? Um, yeah, we do need to harvest them, but honestly, we could just skip them because it's not worth forty five minutes. <laughs> We're sitting here doing it. To be honest, I'd rather just let them rot. It's like we're not anywhere close to even putting cereal production in yet, and we already have we're already running out of room anyways for them. So I'd rather I'd rather bump to May and get these crops in and start playing with the uh, pumps and hoses. Get everybody uh get everybody playing with it. So we'll probably just uh bump it in and uh, let those things go. It's only it's only so like need... it's only like seven or eight thousand liters of of grapes. So are we gonna go straight to seed and oat? Uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be putting in oats, so we got to go to May. We got to bump all the way through, so we have to bump all the way, all the way through to May. All right, I'm going to set the truck up at the chickens. Yeah, cows, or the, uh, the, uh, sh pigs probably need food. Nope, they're good. Pigs are good. Chickens, yeah, set those up. Uh, and we just need to make sure we watch for the sheep. Do you want to spray all the old fields so they got one coat of fertilizer on them? Um, all of them except for the one that's right by the slurry tank. Uh, that's the one we're gonna we're all gonna jump in and play, playing I guess. 
with the pumps and hoses real quick. So we'll we'll um yeah we can hit up the we can hit up the spraying. Just leave the uh just leave that field. The big one right next to all the greenhouses and stuff. You guys wanna jump in the Rubicons? What do we got down here? Also, solid fur sprayers. We also have uh, liming that's got to be done. All right. I'm going to put a lime truck in over there. I'll uh, drop this off of the chickens and head towards the line at the uh, the new field. Okay. Sorry. Now we, hide around that corner. we don't have an auger wagon, so you're going to have to make long trips to come back. You might, have, use, we, uh, we might have to let the, the workers. The yeah, I was just going to throw mine on a, on a worker over here. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a really square field. They shouldn't have any issues with it. Yeah. How are the headlands at the uh, the end? It should be good. There's plenty of space. Okay. Plenty of space and pr pretty square. Cool. cool. You got to do something special to fill the Rubicon. Uh, the Rubicon is, let's see here. It's, it fills in from the back over there on that side via visit here. Uh, yeah, that one's actually empty. There is this tank back here should be full. Yeah. There's 27,000 liters left in here. Got AFK for a minute. What's calling? Yep. Yep. Uh, there's a small flatbed by the middle circle where the dog house is. It has some, uh, fur on it too. Yeah, we're just trying to use up all the fur. We we're gonna be starting to produce our own fertilizer, but yeah, we gotta get those. We gotta get the we gotta get the cows in. So we gotta get cow. We gotta get our slurry production just ramped because that's gonna be making us fertilizer with the uh, fertilizer mod, as well as the pumps and hoses now too. So okay, so you're just Chicken gonna put in. Anything? You're gonna be putting in first stage. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of all these small north fields. Yep. There's a small auger wagon over here, I think. Do we have a small auger wagon? It's very small. No, I don't think we do. Yeah, I didn't think we had a, an auger wagon at all. It's a seed runner. Oh, the seed runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go down and spray the uh, big uh, south field. And that thing's going to take forever to seed with our rapid A army. AFK for about 10 minutes, so I gotta take care of some. Yep, yep. No, you're not gonna. I, I'm trying to unfold. Ah, whoa. <laughs> Holy. You're taller. You look like you were not gonna make it under. 
<laughs> Gotta live life on the edge. That way, when we plant, we can go right into uh, fertilizing again. Uh, do we have enough money for the worker to um, line this field? Possibly. I mean, we can always just stop and bump, and that'll give us more money from all of our productions and everything, right? So. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna be selling chickens soon. Didn't even see that in the field right there, the missed spot. <laughs> Whoopsie. Couple little missed strips, but no big deal. Get a big old giant chicken harvest. Are you going in and coming right back or are you getting dropped off? Find out what you're picking up. I thought that they won't wait for you there, though, then. Uh, I guess you can grab your stuff from uh, Savons, right? Worker is blocked. What the hell? Oh, that was me jumping out the tractor. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that just put a huge. <laughs> we're like, told the man, no, we're not going to be putting in a giant field on this map. Well, farm sim promises seem to be always broken. We don't really have an option here. Especially if we're putting in cows. Farm is just... The farm's growing, what can I say? No? It happens. I don't know, we might not have enough money. We might have to stop the workers and bump once. <laughs> Where can I get solid fert? Solid fertilizer? I don't believe we have. There might be some. But I'm not sure. There might be some if you look in there. I'm not, you'd have to look at the uh, the menu to see if we have any in any of the storage tanks anywhere. I don't believe we do have any solid fert, though. If we do, it's very little amount. Could just buy a couple thousand. Just, put... just could just buy a couple thousand. Just buy a couple thousand liters from the thing. Okay. From one of the tanks there, just enough to fill your cedar or your planter up or whatever it is. We have one hundred thirty thousand, one hundred fifty thousand liters of solid fert. Yeah. Oh, okay. Man, that means we gotta buy that. Uh, we gotta get. We gotta get our fertilizer production up and going. Man. Slacking. Super slacking. Four hours before we even play with the pumps and hoses. Fail! This damn harvest. <laughs> we set it up by... You know? <laughs> fail, 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 fail.
Get us all sprayed out, dudes. Yeah, when we're leaving the and we're leaving the other field over there because that that way we can um we can play with the pumps and hoses like I was saying because like man, so many we get these things first sprayed. We get the other field limed, and then uh, we'll get over here and we'll just play with it until we we uh, are bored of it. Like I said, I don't I don't I don't know if it's gonna be very like crazy beneficial for the size of a farm we have. You know what I mean? I don't see it being like insane. I see it being way cool for RP style play, right? But I don't see it being like crazy, crazy used for shit this size. If you know we can I mean? daisy chain the pumps, it might be a different story. Yeah, I'm not sure how how it actually all works. So, like how we do in uh, Gold Rush, you can daisy chain the pumps. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah, it might not work. But then you'd have to set up stations like the, uh, like every so many, every so, so many so meters. Off. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's really hard to say. I mean, once we start really playing with the, the DLC, right? I mean, it's not really, I mean, in, realistically, <laughs> we should have just jumped into like Calmston or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it's entirely speculation at this point. We have no clue. Yeah, <laughs> we're just like I'm delaying the inevitable uh, head scratch moment, you know. <laughs> like, at some point today, boys. Uh, uh, hmm. We're getting there. <laughs> well, hey, at least we got a big giant harvest out of the way. It had to be done. <laughs> and we got a monster field put in. Yeah, that can be the auxiliary field. We can just throw in whatever needs to be done for the year. That's <laughs> well, that field pretty much equals. I think we're just going to be running barley in that field. Mm -hmm. Because okay. <laughs> I, I, you know what I mean? We got to feed the chicken somehow and we can't keep rotating all of our crops to just feed every year from now on. Right. You know, at least we can uh, rotate. You know what I mean? We don't need to yeah, rotate. Yeah. We just find a good balance yeah. each field. We only we we only need to produce what we need to produce, right? Well, that was what was nice about this save is that you had so much of a variety at first. Yeah. Before we started smashing chickens. Well, it was mainly just the then it, we I started once we got to a certain point and we started rotating. Um, yeah. To try to stock up so we could run other crops to beef up to do more money income, but. We got to the point now where we're bringing in so much money every bump. Now it's just now we got to put the the farm back together the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. All right. We got to put our potatoes back in. We got to put our, you know, our corn rebalance field back. Yeah. Rebalance the harvest to the supply chain ratio. Right. It's just a little off. So. Yeah, we definitely need potatoes. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna need corn. We're definitely gonna need our sunflower field to be ramped up. Um, you know, we don't need to run as many soybeans. I mean, sorry, we do need to run soybeans. So we probably yeah. should run soybeans in this big field down here. And then corn in the field next to it. Would probably be what we need to do. And then potatoes in those middle fields. We don't need a lot of potatoes, but we definitely need them. Yeah, we definitely, definitely, definitely need them. Oops. Peace. Whoops. Hmm. Trying to get the ad thing synced up right now. A little out of whack because I didn't have, I didn't, I messed it up on the last ad break. Rip. 
Noob. Alright, the southern field is, uh... Are uh, y'all good, Oz? You all good, man. We're just getting everything uh, furthered in anyways. You're good to go. Boom. How long for your uh, ride? Huh? Oh, they haven't gotten to... That's sweet. Like, that's all. Second stage? Yeah, it's second stage and splotchy because of the uh, thing. But that's okay. We'll do our first harvest in there. It's not that big of a deal. Doesn't matter if it's all splotchy or not. You run out of, did you run out of furt? <laughs> no, I finished. Oh, I was, there's a little spot in the middle. <laughs> so I was like, did yeah. you run out of furt? <laughs> Everything's done. <laughs> oh, okay, the map didn't update yet. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what the F? So all we got to do is let these uh, workers finish um, mining. Oh yeah, they're they're hitting it at home right there. Huh? Sure. Yes. Yeah, that gap in the fence is much better now. Going in between the uh, the fields, right? Yeah. I mean, I guess we might as well harvest the grapes once they're ready because we got to cut the grass anyways. They should be ready next month. I think. All right, let's take a look here. Okay. Um, so those guys are still doing their thing, but we need to, we can, we don't need to let them finish right now. So what we can do is we can, cause there's more work that needs to be done. So just turn off the worker for a second and back it up. And just leave them in the field for the time being. And I'm going to jump over to uh, the bump. And let's bump a little bit. Um, Jack, the boy, yo, boy, yo, what's up, man? How was the stream? Stream's going good. Stream's going good, pretty good, man. Taking back, we just put in this monster field over here. Yeah, it's a beast. It is an absolute beast. And we're getting ready to uh, bump forward so we can uh, start, you know, seeding and stuff like that. So we can start putting in the uh, new... Oh, start putting in the new, uh, start playing with the new pumps and hoses. So, yay. Heck yeah. Uh, animals are looking good and juicy to bump. Uh, we're on Western Wilds. Got everybody here. It would just be Oz. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Grinder? No, Oz. Help. There's still three of us. <laughs> I'll be there in a second, he says. <laughs> we are playing video games. Life does come first. <laughs> yup. Uh, we're playing with... Uh, Bunch of community members, uh, Varsh, J Rob, and Oz, and uh, Amanda was on, but she was um, 
he's taking care of a couple things, so. I was just on a work phone call real quick here, guys. Right now? Okay. Boom. Okay. Hopefully they give you some time off, man, for all these surgeries and stuff you got to do. No doubt, right? Like, you know, the guy over here is <laughs> like... starting to have to get his face ripped off and reconstructed. No doubt, dude. Oof. Doing pretty good, Grinder. How you doing today, man? Okay, babe. Super done. Chickens are still good for two or three more months About before that. we gotta sell any. Okay, so w when do we have to go to here? What what's the what's the game plan here? Uh, uh, we're planting oats. Planting oats. So we have to turbo bump all the way through. Or... To March. Let's just go. Let's go to April because oh, we have to do how's the, August. How's the grass? How's we gotta the grass? go to. Cause... We we have to go to Toby's October. We gotta go to October. Yeah, that's what it is. Wait, how's the grass? October. Got to go to okay. October because we might as well do the grass. We might as well cut the grapes at least. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I did accidentally run into all the grape pallets earlier, so... It has some spare capacity. Yeah, the grapes are, um... <laughs> I don't Oops. know, man. The grapes are kind of just, like... <laughs> they're just kind of there, you know what I mean? Like, you can't really get rid of them. Okay, uh, one more bump here. Sleep on more. Okay, yeah, sounds good, Oz. Sounds good. Oh, it's raining. You. Yeah. Not no more. All right, the grass is ready. <laughs> not no more, it's not. I'll go ahead and take care of the grass. The first time getting the flu. What? What the hell? Your Have you lived time. in a bubble? No, no <laughs> doubt, dude. Uh, we suck. were we <laughs> were just trying out the grapes the normal way. Yeah, I'm putting the worker back on over here while we do other stuff. But first, what's the first time getting a flu? What the shit, dude? <laughs> just letting you know it's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, freaking got, we got like a bubble boy over here, damn. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we definitely, we want to try out the grapes. I think you're right, though. I think overall, we're all kind of just like, it's underwhelming and they're annoying. Like they're, they're honestly annoying. <clears throat> like a lot of people are like, but that's just part of the game. They're so amazing. It's like, yeah, they're amazingly shitty. Like, dude, like the yield that you get, letting them go to the double harvest state. So harvest state two, right? So the second part of the month on the bump and like, even if you cultivate in between here, like all that work, it's just so much work for such little amount of what it is. But so what we found is, is we're just not cultivating. We're not cultivating. We're leaving it alone. We're taking the 83% and all we're doing is just spraying them. So double making sure we're getting the double fur. And we're not uh, wasting our time with that crap because it's just horrible. Uh, this is our first time really running grapes, right? So it was kind of like, eh, we're just testing them out. Couldn't even open up the menu. Had to, uh, damn, dude. 
Grapes would be cool on a single player save. I mean, the way we're but. doing grapes now, if you do the math, all you have to do is run two extra rows, right? To make up for your loss. So why would you want to spend all that time doing all that extra work unless you just really enjoy cultivating down the rows, right? And I know I don't, so it ain't my thing. But I don't mind just spraying them, especially with the Rubicon, the way we have it set up. Just uh, seven rows, a gap, and then seven rows with uh, factory, uh, with a default base game uh, distance, right? So the Rubicon will cover seven and seven. The gap down the middle, you raise it all the way up. You can spray it all really fast. Takes about 30 seconds. You can make your rows all the way across this map if you want to. It'll only take you about however long it takes you to drive from one side of the map to the other. Flatten off your map, make it real nice, do a big grape grape rows. <laughs> Not doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's or you know, you can run to greenhouses if you really want the grapes. The greenhouse mod's also nice. Uh we were gonna use that one, but everybody be want everyone's been wanting us to, to do grapes, and I know why, because they're horrible. They like to see us suffer, so Do grapes split, do grapes, it's amazing, it's so fun, best thing in the game. Yeah, maybe if you want to jump af off a bridge afterwards. Yeah, uh, the first time you run into those poles and get stuck, you're, you're done. <laughs> the freaking cultivating is horrible. And and mulching, too. It's just ass. The whole map grapes challenge. See, like, this would not be bad. And this wouldn't be bad. But uh, just harvesting and spraying and then taking the the extra foliage off it's not it's not too big of a deal it's just the mulching and the cultivating it's just crap are you going to get a steering wheel i already have a steering wheel and a shifter and all that good stuff Do I use it? Oh, not, not for farming simulator. No, I don't. <laughs> Why? I I just so some sim games I just like using my mouse and keyboard. Like, I play for so long all day long that it's just easier for me to play with keyboard and mouse, and I can sit and just relax at my desk, and I don't have to, and I can do everything else. I don't got to reach over my my steering wheel all the time constantly, and try to use my keyboard and stuff like and then it's always just a pain in the ass because I have to take it off of my desk to work so the only time I ever really play with it is when I'm playing racing games or I'm playing ATS where I'm just going to sit down and actually have a driving session but if I'm playing just a normal simulator I won't play with my steering wheel and stuff I don't have a proper like seated position at my desk. I don't, I do not like playing in normal computer chairs. It's so uncomfortable and trying to use your foot pedals and stuff for 12 hours a day. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not comfortable at all. Nope. That's a good way to blow your hips and everything out because you're just in the, in, you're not in the proper seating position. But if you're more sitting down, your legs are out in front of you. You know, the, the, the cheapest fix for that is to get an old truck seat that's lifted. I was I was going to build... make a platform for it. I was going to build my own sim rig mm. with, an, with a brand new Peterbilt seat. You know, like, Ooh. I was going to do the whole thing, man. I was going to wire it in. I actually have all the... I actually have all the toggle switches, all the circuit boards... I have everything already. I have all the acrylic panels to build it and build the deck and everything yeah. like that and build a dash. But um, it, it came down to literally, I just don't play that stuff enough to care. Right. right. I just don't. And you know, I got the triple monitors, like all that fancy stuff. But the thing is, is like, I just don't have enough room in this office. I have to kick Dopey out. Yeah. <laughs> that and that's, that's and that ain't going to fly, dudes. Like I've, 
been like, well, maybe you could move out to the living room with your setup and stuff no, like that. No, you just and, got dopey playing. And <laughs> she's like, no. And I was like, well, no. I was like, okay, then fine. Okay. That wouldn't be fair. You know, so, you, yeah, we just got her playing after all these years. Grease Monkey Man, thank you much for the uh, the follow, buddy. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, the biggest the biggest problem is space in this room that we have in my in my gaming office. I'll call it is. Don't, don't you guys just, share a desk? Kinda. No, we don't share a dope. We don't share a desk. We share dope, but not a desk. All right, just read Grinder's message. <laughs> just said dope. <laughs> we don't share dope around here. Get your own. <laughs> I mean, in my room, let's see here. In, in this office, <laughs> so I don't, I don't even know the dimensions of this room to be honest. I, I've never really sat and measured it, but I want to say it's like twenty feet by twelve, twenty by twelve, maybe. May, maybe that. May, maybe twenty by eight. I don't know. I really don't know. But that big driving rig would take up the whole, like, half the room. Okay, so you guys have seen my setup, my desk. My desk is, like, freaking command center. Like, it's like L-desk of all L-desks that have ever been L-desks ever. <laughs> like, yeah, it's it's beefy. And uh, it does take up over a quarter of the room in the corner over here. All right, so... Your grass is done. Uh, is it hard to use front end loaders with a steering wheel? Um, yeah, because you don't have the controls to at your disposal unless you're using like the D pad. If your if your steering wheel comes with like a D pad or something like that, or you so, have a joystick, or you have a joystick or something like that, right? I think so you, or you use your mouse, or it's not. It depends on what controls you're using. And stuff like that, but your steering wheel is, I mean, driving's driving, right? Oops, I did not unload this thing. All right, the grass is done. The sheep are okay. The greenhouse is over there, okay. I'm gonna check the greenhouses over here. The chickens are good. Yeah, they need some water. Need to unload the grapes. <laughs> oh yeah, you're stuck in grape hell. <laughs> As well, we got work to do. Okay. Dopey's off the store for Tim Tams and. <laughs> Like, what are you doing back here? And she's like, I'm like, are you even playing? And she's like, no. Like, uh, what are you doing tonight? She's like, I don't know. I'm bored. <laughs> and I was like, uh, so what are your plans? I don't know. You know, goes typical girl, you know? crazy because most of the time dope is killing it yeah she's been i don't know she's she's hitting the wall she's been kind of yeah. she's been kind of asking me lately like hinting at me going back to playing single game single player games for a little bit she mm. does play a lot on her own yeah I, i've been trying like, to get her to stop <laughs> like it, dude it really kills it when you do that well yeah because she doesn't understand burnout right yeah. Well, she's new to it, believe it or not. I'm like, okay, well, I guess, you know. All right. Yep. Everything is furted except for what we were going to do with the pumps and hoses. Everything's, well, these guys are linemen still, I guess. There's one of them. Wait, what happened to the other one? Was running it. I had to go refill it. Oh, okay. Was this not the row that I had to go down? Oh, here they are. <laughs> I'm getting lost in the grapes. Yeah, that's pretty easy. 
Yo, what's up, old yellow? How you doing today, man? When you choose to buy an emote, does it uh, only give you it for a day? What do you mean, emote? Welcome back. Oh. I'm talking to them. I'll just go back. You get. What did you get? Do you want to? Should we get an auger wagon? Got here. We're gonna need one at some point. Oh, Heineken! Gosh, damn it! <laughs> damn it! That's when we. That's when we throw it on the channel. Damn it! it it's gonna be a long night, boys. <laughs> All right, you're about to get hit with the uh, synchronizing players. You're good. All right. Hey, should we get an auger wagon at some point? Probably. All right, Heineken goes first. Here we go, boys. Oh, fuck. Ooh. Oh, God, no. No! <laughs> How much did you shake this fucker up? That sounded a little fizzy for a Heine. Ah, that was not pleasant. I just got squirted on. Not nice. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, wait, we just missed. If I shook it, it would have been all over your face. Just got squirted on. I wasn't going to go there. Let's not bring that back up, please. We finally just got that to disappear out on the channel after about four months. Should not even have said that word. My bad. Don't do it. No. Don't even bring that shit up again. I'm sorry. Don't do it. <laughs> no, chat. No, please don't do it. <laughs> it's worse than the that's what she said or these nuts. Just don't happened. do it. Don't do it. <laughs> it's like it's like when you overhear a joke too much and you just start to hate everything in life. It's like that. That's what happened. It is, you know. Yeah. All because of a Tim Tam too. Man, I haven't had Should a have bought one Fosters for... just to... Fosters don't even say that. Just one, just one. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't say that they'll struggle for beer because I got this thought. No. Just <laughs> you gotta mail Shane to Fosters. <laughs> Dude, I haven't had a Heineken in like Ooh, it's been a while. It's been a while. Heineken? No. I generally don't. I mean, I don't mind Heineken, it's just, but it's it's not my preferred. It's too it's too pricey for me normally. It's too fancy. It was on sale. That's why you got it. It's on sale. Although I'll take this Molson though. Mmm. Honey crisp. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. Then again, like I typically, whenever I was drinking it, it was a long time ago and I never really was into beer. So that could also be the factor as well, too. No, uh, we didn't have much for tall boys, so I figured I'd get you one beach. Yeah. That's all they had left. I mean, it's not super, super Poppy for for a logger, right? But 
can't stand the super like IPAs. Nope. Not a fan of IPA at all. Nuh uh, get that shit out of here. If I want my beer to taste like hairspray and shit, I would just, just start like taking hits of hairspray. Huh. Yeah, you can put that in the fridge. I'm playing, drinking both those back to back. Or else I'm gonna need some zigzags as well to go with it. We were talking about this. What was it? We were talking about this in uh, the stream the other night. Oh no, no, no. We, we were talking about this on the. Uh, we were talking about this in VIP chat on the weekend. Like Modelo, dude. I can't. I can't. I can't handle that. I can't drink that stuff, man. Oh man, I can't drink another Budweiser. That's why I started drinking Modelo. I would rather drink Budweiser than Modelo. Brother. I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. It gives me headaches every time, like without fail. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know why. It's because the alcohol content's not right for your your bud, your buzz, you know? It puts you on that weird uh, like half in between, so it gives you a headache. The Modelo is stronger. That's what I'm saying, so that's why Modelo doesn't do uh, it for you. If it's weaker, yeah, if you don't ever get a uh, buzz, you can always have a higher risk of getting a headache. Yeah, because I, I can drink a case of Budweiser like it's nothing. Yeah, because it's like, what is it, 4.5%? This water is what it is. <laughs> Yeah, and I think that goes with every type of anything. <laughs> if you, if you're always on that verge of being like, "Hmm, I'm feeling good," you know, then I, I drink like four or five Budweisers and I've already got a hangover. And I'm like, "Oh, I'm done." <laughs> yeah, Coke, Coke is like, uh, I just had a, I just had that because we've been going through different cases and stuff like that lately, and uh, drinking a little bit of stuff. It was summer; we were drinking a lot of beer, but. Um, I tried uh, 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 some coconut because I hadn't had it for a while, and man, I couldn't get over the aftertaste. The aftertaste—it was almost—it was almost like baking soda in water. You know what I mean? Like, I wish I could send you some of our local beer here. The uh, the Abita. Drink Scotch mainly. The uh, yeah. dark Modelo is actually pretty good. Mm. The, I, I like the dark. I, I just don't like very very hoppy beer, so that's probably what it is. Is that Modelo is like Corona. Modelo is like very hoppy, right? No, it's like no hops. It's mm -hmm. basically like Corona. Then what is it yeah. that I'm not liking about it? Then it's got to if if you okay if you don't drink a Modelo quick, it's got a, a bad aftertaste. No, like, I, I just can't, I can't handle it, it at all. It does have an aftertaste. It has an aftertaste, especially if you burp. Like, <laughs> well, you're definitely it'll come. Like what they have over here called Shopsecutioner. <laughs> Shopsecutioner? <laughs> uh, my father-in-law got given that by mistake a couple years ago. That was so funny. He looked just yeah. like those old uh, 90s bitter beer face commercials. Oh, where yeah. their face looks like Popeye? Bad boy, the sailor man. And I think all my screens are loaded in now. <laughs> I've been driving around the map. That's um, nice. I need to file an incident report. Nope. Don't even say that. <laughs> That's not allowed on this farm. Remember, we don't, uh, we don't have insurance. These JVCs like to ride up the side of building. I didn't admit the last time I had beer was on your <laughs> sister's 18th birthday. She is damn, bro. You were 12. Yo. Yeah, damn, dog. <laughs> yeah, Kokanee. Kokanee's not bad. I was making fun of Bubba, and he was making fun of me this week because I had High Life. I had Miller High Life, and he was making fun of me. High Life is so bad. I don't mind Miller though. I don't. In uh, glass bottles, I don't mind Miller. And you say you don't like hops. Because I don't find, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's another flavor that I'm not, or it's another something else. It's got to be something in a refining process that it gets you. I don't know. I, I don't know. I've always just, I've always just uh, attributed to hops being really hoppy, like the skunky, like, you know what I mean? Like the, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? I've always just attributed I, I that do. to being yeah. hops. Right, so the more of that is like that, I tend to not like that. See, I find when there's a mixture of barley and hops in the beer, it kind of gets to me. For some and, reason, the, the mixture of it, it doesn't work well for me. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I could be completely wrong. It could be barley. Oh. The last time I tried to get drunk on Little King, we had a case. I had a piss before I was drunk. Is that is that what it is? Is it barley, not hops that I'm thinking of? Is that what it is? It's like a it's like a skunky, like nasty. Like is that is that what it is that I'm tasting in the beer? I'm always attributed to hops. Yeah, hops is just what makes it like bitter. Hmm. Ops gives it the bite, so so it would probably be the barley that's uh, the taste that I don't like versus the hops. Hmm. Is that I'm not really a beer connoisseur at all. There's different types of barley and hops too that can alter the flavor. I gotta take a uh, bathroom break. I'll be back in a minute. And these grapes down over here. Barley is the grain that provides sugar for the alcohol. Yep. I've done some brewing for for distilling. I got too much into that, but. But I never, I never dealt with uh, barley. Though. That's why I didn't, like, you know, as far as beer goes. I don't know what it is, but I do not like IPAs. So what, what is it that they do with an I, you know, quote unquote IPA that makes it an IPA over other things? It's mainly the hops. It's mainly the hops. Yeah, the the really bitter taste is just the hops that they use maybe it's a, a high barley or a high amount of hop or a certain type of hops that i'm not a fan of like steinlager that taste nope no nope not a fan of it whatever that combination is don't like it any ipa nope not a fan of it i mean i have to be like six to ten beers in before i'll be even think about even touching it you know what i mean Right. Nope, not happening. Well, you know, there's a lot of beers that add things in for flavor, too. Yeah. Orange peel and all kinds of things, right? M. Adams is like that, right? Tons of different oh, flavors. Blue Moon. Blue Moon, yeah, Blue Moon does that. That's what Bubba was drinking this weekend. I gotta be in the mood for that stuff. Now you give me a nice, dark, thick beer. I'm oh yeah, Corona Familia. That's the one I'm gonna go to. You guys Is ever had one called Dark Matter? Hmm. I don't know if you guys have it or not. Mm -mm. I've never it's heard a, of that. It's a it's a coffee flavored dark beer. Coffee, coffee in it. Yeah, it's got it's got coffee in it and like dark chocolate and shit's like eight percent, dude. I mean, it's good, but, like, you can only have so many before it starts to, like, wear on you. It's like the Guinness Darks. Ooh, Guinness is hard Guinness. to drink a lot of. It, yeah, that's extra stout, man. Yeah, oh, 8%, it's... bro. You're gonna, you're gonna feel something. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's not that. It's, it always bloats my stomach. Like, I feel like <laughs> you're gonna take a, I, I gotta go to the bathroom after I drink a few Guinness. Uh, get yourself a uh, good black and tan or a... Uh... Oh, I don't know what they call them up there, but down here they call them the, uh... Snake bite? I thought snake bite is where you mix in, like, Sprite with an IPA. Uh, snake bite's where you drop, uh, Guinness into some whis whiskey, like Irish whiskey, right? 
Uh, well, down here it's. Uh, I thought snake bite what? was where you got bitten the dick by a snake and then you took a line of cocaine. <laughs> All right. No. Okay, you got me there. I mean, we're just throwing shit out now. I'm shit. All right, all right. The one, the one thing I know about a good random. snake bite is that it has to be separated. If it's not separated, then it's not made right. If you do a dark with a um, apple beer, like one of the uh, Angry Orchard. Oh yeah, yeah. Ooh, talk about an upset stomach. Drink too much Angry Orchard. It's like drinking a gallon of, or uh, apple juice. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be having. You gotta be on the toilet, man. <laughs> it's good. It's yeah, real good. But <laughs> apple fast, definitely. <laughs> you won't know until you're already drunk that you just made yourself suffer. <laughs> Run wrong cough, man. It's going downhill quick. <laughs> it's like cider, dude. You if you have a weak oh. stomach. <laughs> yup. <laughs> <laughs> the chat proves we can just talk about absolutely anything. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting there one day with the, with the guys after work and sitting there. I'm halfway through my second of the 22 ounce snake bite and another group of the guys that I work with from a different division comes in and they order me cement mixers uh-huh. oh Oof. No. that one was not a good combo I got about four and a half Long Island iced teas in one night and woke up in the shower with the shower on just yeah, sitting bro, in the tub how strong of an iced tea was that what kind of Long uh, Island's are you drinking damn dude you're just the drinking the my island. girlfriend was making me <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell, dude? Was, yeah, it, like, 90% alcohol there is what I was drinking. <laughs> like, damn, bro. They were strong. They were real strong. I'm not gonna lie. That's okay. I was doing Everclear and, uh, oh, and, and smoothies, man. My roommate man. used to drink that shit. He'd mix it with orange juice and it would separate the orange juice. Yep. Like a chemical reaction. Yep, it's. Whew. I, I, I can, I can drink like, like half of a mixed drink of Everclear, and I was, I was done. <laughs> Remember, uh, we got a bottle of 151 rum, and um, I had a man to take a shot, and it went straight in and straight out. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I've, I've never seen what... <laughs> that happen so fast. <laughs> I was like, Whoa! Came out just as fast as it went in. That was like magic. <laughs> Somebody brought moonshine to one of our parties, and the same thing happened. Every single person just bleh, immediately. Yeah, it's a it's a reaction when it hits your stomach like that. Oh yeah, or even just the back of your throat. Like you're supposed to sip it. You're supposed to That's sip. Reason they call it sip whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> people, right, I, think, I, think it's, I think it's funny though when people actually think that people are drinking just pure proof out of a thing. They don't realize that it's all proofed. You know, they think yeah. shiners always drink the highest proof. Nah, man. That's never the they case. They always dilute it. It's always diluted down to like 60 or or 40. Why? Because you can get more out of it. Where are you going, on? What? Uh, I'm just wait, waiting to figure out what, what I'm doing. Oh, it's J-Rod. Got, got everything. Let's go Did on you find a shortcut? From There's the a lake. shortcut over here. Holy crap. Wait, did you end up in the pond? Yes. <laughs> Wait, I gotta see this. Oh, he's stuck in the Wait, pond. There's a shortcut. Bloop. I uh, should have fenced that off there, buddy. My bad. Uh, there's two different Everclears. There's a lower proof one, and then there's the 190. You can get the 100, then you can get the 190. The 190 is actually better. But it's uh, it's mainly used for, like, food-grade cooking and stuff like that or and stuff you'd want to use it for. Corn grain. I can't even pick it up. It's great if you need to uh, make a lot of alcohol for a lot of people. You can just... Because it, it doesn't... You, it goes with almost anything, right? It's so kind of pure. And Jungle it, juice. It can go for... It can go with anything, right? Spodies, stuff like that. Crack open a watermelon, a couple watermelons, pour a bunch in there. You guys, you guys just have to no good over here. And just yeah, oh, the yeah. three of them, they're in a pond. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> Tractor stuck. 
<laughs> You're gonna have to restart it. It's gonna have to be repaired. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, I had no idea that was there. <laughs> For my best one, I prefer with Everclear is making uh, apple pie and shine out of it. Yep, that's exactly what you're supposed to do with it. You take a bottle of 199 or 190, and the high, the higher, the highest proof you can get. I don't think you can even get that in Canada now. I think they, I think they stopped uh, importing it. I think I can still get 195. The down here Everclear, you can still get the 151 rum. No. Yeah, they stopped See, carrying a lot of stuff in Canada. If you're really broke, you can throw a bottle of Everclear in your lawnmower and cut your grass. <laughs> Well, yeah, when you get when you used to be able to get Everclear for like what is it? Uh, it was about was it's it seven, like four dollars like, a bottle. Here. Yeah, it's like four dollars for like a fifth. It's insane. Yeah. Here, you know, ended up do you know much? Do you know much they are here? Do you know how much a fifth costs in Canada? Average. Twelve dollars at least. Twenty five. <laughs> Twenty five then tax. Jeez. Yeah. Thirty dollars if you're getting a two liter to go with it. Yeah, thirty bucks if you get a. Yeah, exactly. You're spending thirty how bucks, much is a man. Two liter? Two uh, if it comes with it, four dollars. Yeah, about four bucks. Four, well, pretty much four dollars anyway. Yep. Two fifty-three dollars is high. Like, you know, do you know how much a, a twenty-four pack of an average beer costs here? No. About fifty-five to sixty dollars. That's because you guys are on the island, right? No, that's just no, that's, that's just, just most places in Canada, man. Oh Jesus! We pay a lot. A we pay a lot for alcohol. Anything that can kill you. Canada charges you out the butthole. Ah, uh, they're trying to cut it down. Yeah, so anything that could potentially kill you, they kick the shit out of you for it. Right. Like cigarettes, a, a, an average pack of a cigarette, the price of a cigarette is like it's, it's about 15 to $20 a pack now. Jesus, I pay $4 a pack for the cigarette this week. Yeah. It's insane. Death and taxes. Yep. Well, sounds, I mean, sounds like that for like you guys. Eight. Yeah. A lot of, a lot like of uh, countries are. Good pack, but... Yeah. Yeah. Those prices are right across Canada. Rip. Yep. It is. It's no, it's <laughs> nowhere different. Like when I took Amanda to the States, it was like, when, I, when I'm not joking, we tell the story when we went to the States and I took her to Walmart the and, she didn't, and she didn't realize that the States actually yeah. has booze in most states have it in the grocery stores and she didn't realize that alcohol actually goes on clearance yep. right so you can buy it on sale and like and like a 60 ounce bottle of like smirnoff vodka you can get for like 20 bucks, 30 oh, yeah, bucks. That's, a, that's a pretty good price right there yeah bucks. and it's oh. like for us that's a, a 60 ounce bottle is 60 to 75 dollars so it's a dollar an ounce is what we're paying for for our hard alcohol over here when I was living in Hawaii, stationed over there in Oahu, the handle, the half gallon of uh, Captain Morgan Spice Rum would go on sale about once every six to eight weeks. Could you turn down your television set, sir? Say again? Could you turn down your television set, sir? <laughs> See if we get the reference. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Is that your headset? What are you watching me on that I can hear? I don't believe you can hear that. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah, I was picking up the stream. Wow. Yeah, if that's the grass from the ground, it goes into that um that blue thing you're backing into. I'm sitting about two feet away from my phone so that you get the free stream. And I have a volume turned down to one off of bottom on speaker. That's okay. just crazy. I, was I can't like, believe that you're picking that up. I was like, what am I hearing in the background? Starting to cut you off. I was like, what is that sound? And I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, we could pick up handles of Captain Morgan for under 10 bucks. Yeah, that's insane, right? Like, Texas is the same way. Texas is just brutally like, holy cow, man. When I was stationed over in Georgia, we would pull into Puerto Rico a couple times. Bacardi. Mm. Mm. Let's Take see here. $34. That's one thing in Louisiana. They they, they don't uh, charge the hell out of us for alcohol because we drink too much of it. $34 <laughs> for a 375 milliliter bottle of vodka? 
Yeah, so you guys are more expensive oh, than God. we are. That's insane. Yeah, you're more expensive than we are. Yeah, that's, that's pretty Smirnoff. crazy. Yeah, that's Smirnoff too, right? I mean, I'm not you know cutting Smirnoff, but they are not a high level brand, high level brand. No, uh, what is that? So what's, I, I what's the label? Nobody wine. can understand. What is it? It's it's, uh, it's like stole stole short. Just we call we just call Stolies because we can't. None of us can pronounce it until we call we're like half the That cheap shit. Yeah, the stuff that's like paint thinner. Yeah, we called it Skull Vodka, and it always had a story to go with it because every time we drank that, somebody either got in a fight or did something stupid. So, yeah, so that's like my up. my that's like my growing up and having um. Everybody always had that story, that drinking story that always had to either do with Jaeger, the original recipe. <laughs> Before they changed yeah. it, and the other one was freaking Southern Comfort, man. Oh Soko. yeah, Soco, yes, yeah, dude. Soco is one of those ones where it's just like you don't even know you're drinking it is the problem, right? And then by the time you do, it's too late. And you going down? You got another forge wagon? Uh, we don't, uh, but we can no, buy one. We, we just buy one. We need one. Whatever we need right now, just uh, just uh, grab it. We need some uh, forage wagon or anything like that to get you guys working because we've been yeah, slowly. Yeah, and all this ground, all this grass on the ground goes into that blue. The blue bin. The blue bin. Okay. Turn it into silage. I was gonna say, buy some cheap vodka, put it through a Brita water filter. Yeah. It tastes much better. Much oh better. yeah, they just don't distill it as much. That's what you're paying for. Or they don't filter it after they put the uh, the water in. Right. It's part of the distilling process. They don't filter out all the crap. Your sister just gets keg deliver kegs delivered to her house. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Just if you just brew your own booze. Beer. Only time I've ever had alcohol poisoning. <laughs> it was a keg. It was a keg? Yeah. A bathroom break? Yeah, you all good, man. They're just there uh, tending to the grass and picking the grass up, so. All the grass fields are good to go. They're all in. Grapes are taken care of. Um, yeah, they just got to pick up the grass and I mean, I guess I need to figure this out over here because I really don't know what I need. I I honestly don't even know, man. I, I have not watched a video or anything on this just stuff. Buy one of everything. I did just buy a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong there and buy extra hmm. hoses and one of everything. Let's just have this dumbass drink a beer real quick and then uh, we'll see if we can figure it out. Let's just go tinker with some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's five of us. We'll figure it out at some point. So, somehow we'll figure out how to connect a hose to another hose. That's usually how you end up figuring it out. <laughs> just start hitting with a, just start hitting it with the wrench. You know, we got we got a wrench now. That's that's awesome. You're half a wrench. Got a half a wrench. <laughs> well, it's a one way wrench. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a one wayer. Okay, so we did buy a couple things here. We got the compressor, and then we got the uh, the hose thing. Are they on my camera or yours? Oh, they're on they're on yours. Um, <laughs> farming simulator. Yes, we are. And so we bought this one here. But I need to figure out how to get to poo. There. <laughs> to here. You got to set up one of those pumps right next to the uh, slurry tank. I think is what it said. So. I believe I have to put that pump right here, right? It says I had to put it on the trigger. Oh, I need to go. I need to go get one. I, I really don't know where it's at. Let's figure this out, dudes. A fast track. Here, man, we got like the the, the the Jenga tower of of things over here. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go grab the uh, the other things we have at the store. Cause there's a few other items that we got, right? So 
Our farm takes a lot of maintenance. There's a lot of stuff that's got to be done every year. That's why we took cotton out of the rotation because cotton stalled us out during the winter time that we had to stop to get it taken care of. So uh, the sheep take care of all of our, our needs for the spinnery, the spinneries that we have. So Well, the cotton was only in there to get the sheep started and I didn't know what else to put in there. So I put cotton in there. Yeah. Whoa, baby, coming through, bruh. <laughs> Woo. Uh, uh, not tonight. No construction simulator tonight or tomorrow. tomorrow we're uh, focusing on uh, farm sim for the uh, the next two days, and then we'll be doing a uh, construction simulator on Thursday and Friday. And if you guys run out of salvage additive, there is some in that shed by where the lawnmower is. Cool. Yeah, these uh, JCBs, or wait, this is not, yeah, this J these JCBs move real fast. They're monsters. Like, they have power, they move fast. Wait a minute, that's, that's, that's not what we want to do. <laughs> then we, we'll tell that one behind us. I think this is the pump? Get out of the way here, trailer. I don't know what side we hook up to this thing on. <clears throat> honestly don't know. <laughs> All right, Bill. We got this new uh, piece of equipment over here. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep ramming into it. Yeah, more farm sim, bro. Well, I said mo farm sim is our main game on on Twitch now. So, what the hell? So there's some silage added over here. How do we get yeah, in the shed by the um? Where the Listen up here, Sheila. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Listen, you're in my way. I'll move. I'm you're good. I was done anyway. <laughs> I think we I think we lift this thing up with a forklift. I don't think it oh. even attaches to the tr to it. I'm like over here trying to bump into it. I didn't leave the flatbed over there for you. Hey, that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Sh Sheila. Yeah, we got to, uh, we're gonna have to connect this thing up. I don't think, I don't think we can actually, uh... Come on, we got, we got a forklift. We're good. Yeah, it looks like a forklift. We, uh, we used it for this little trailer out of the way. Go. Man, I, I kind of like look and see what I'm doing here. Right it open. Open sesame, come on. Are you serious right now? How dare you do this to me? What the shit, bro? Oh. Well, you know you want to get in there. Might be easier from the other side. The other side's got that stupid thing sticking out of it though. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Like, what is that? What is that? Um, I guess we're going to put it on the trailer. You want to grab the, the you want to grab the dolly and. No first person POV. Hey, there is. I just don't. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. Correct me if I'm wrong, Dopey. We dump it in this blue silo looking thing back here. Yep. No. That turns the grass into silage. No. Unload. No. Alright, grinder. Take it easy, dude. Here, get get off of the thing, man. I think grinder just drops the biddies when he's getting out. He's like Shh. Drops the mic and just runs to bed. Dude, thank you for the 300 biddies, buddy. Appreciate that, man. I really do. Uh, is there anything? I'm going to need the forklift, so can you lower the back gate? And I'm going to grab this little thing. I think I can connect to it. With the forklift, so we'll bring the forklift with us. 
Huh? You, you seriously don't have it connecting? Serious right now? All right, that's it. <laughs> don't worry. This is why all the moms love me because I handle with care. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Alright, I can lock her down. There we go. We good. Let's go, buddy. They're fragile. They're fragile. All right. No, you don't want, don't want, oh, that's oh, right. We're going to the south. Where I was like, don't want to go through the entrance. <laughs> Everybody avoids the entrance. Oh, we do have the mega field. I just forgot about that. I looked over there and saw that, and I was like, oh, okay. God. We should probably put a little uh, cut through the trees here to get to the big field. Uh, there, there, there'll be a road that comes right through here because the cows are going to our right right now. There'll be a big cow pen right there, and then there's going to be a road that comes through here. There'll be an intersection back at the uh, thing over there, so right where we're kind of heading down this way. And oh, you're, then, putting, you're putting the cows over there? Yeah, there's well, there's nowhere else to put them, right? So, and then once all the roads and everything like that are in, we'll uh, decorate around the uh, the farm. That is what you call a glory hole. All we have to do is get down and dig it, because that's where our money's gonna be. Right Shake. <laughs> Does your dolly sing Jolene? She does sing Jolene. 100%. <laughs> Alright, dude. And thank you for the 10, man. Appreciate that, buddy. I appreciate that. I don't know where this thing's going to go, so we'll just put it right here. For water? I mean... I don't know where this... Hmm. We'll just set it here for now. Okay, so this thing is something. I don't really know what it's for, but hey, we bought it, right? No, that's not what we want to do. Okay, line it up. Zoom in a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. No. No. Damn it. No, oh, I'm horrible. We should be okay. All right, line up the hole, buddy. You can do it. Why you gotta be so difficult, man? Come on, Bruce. Oh my God! If I have to go to the other side, what's going on here? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think it's because we're uh, strapped in. And I'm coming in at a weird angle. Hold on here. Oh, come on. That's it. Got a range. God damn it. No. What are you doing over there? Don't ask. You don't want to know. Okay, that's it. Put the back ramp down. That's what I'm thinking here. Uh, unlock the thing. I'm going to push it in the middle and then I'm going to grab it from the center. Because, man, trying to get it through these little stupid holes here, dude. Rage. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get it on this done this way here. Come on, Doctor Disrespect, let's get this going on. Did you see he did the intro for uh, Monday Night Football? Yeah, no, isn't that crazy? What? Yeah. Yeah, for the Forty uh, Niners game. That, that's pretty cool, honestly. I guess there's nowhere to put this thing here. Come on, man. Damn, this thing is like a pain in the ass. It does not like, it won't go under there. It's because I think you have to lift it from the other side. Holy crap, dude. All right, J-Rob, that's it. Your turn. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> there's like, there's nowhere to slide under it. Just push it off and push it across the floor. It won't let you connect to it anywhere either. Which is kind of crazy. I mean, you can grab it from the side, but it will like... Is it letting you squeeze under it? What? Use your air. Use your air. Yeah. It just don't like me at all. Okay, that goes over here. I think that goes right here. Let me take a look at the uh, the thing real quick to make sure. I think it said something about it going on to... Okay, separator separates a solid uh, fraction of liquid manure. Well, this bedding or fertilizer? What? And a load of liquid manure tank. Trailer or trigger. Okay, so I think we put that thing right here. We, we, we will figure it out. Let's go. I guess, yeah, just put it. It says it says it goes near a uh, trigger, so. You see any more piles anywhere? Uh, no, I think you're good. Oh no, I'm inside of it. Unfold it. Oh, what the hell? Well, that would have been nice to know. Apparently, you can just jump inside of it and unfold it. <laughs> it's its own little vehicle.
can't when you guys are done. Uh, one of the bins can be full of grass with the grass storage and put back where the sheep are. And the okay. other one can just be put in the shed where the lawnmower is. Let's get a uh, thing just in case here. Let's grab oh. a silo. I've only got about a thousand. Put that one over at the sheep. Yeah. Oh, where's you got a full thing over there for the sheep? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now I have no clue what we're actually supposed to do with these things. I have not, I have no clue. I have not even watched anybody do it. And uh, let's just go, let's just wing it. Or why not? Did the graves get fertilized? Negative. Because they still have to, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So, I think... We have to lower this thing, I, get, I would imagine. Um, change to unwinding, start unwinding. Okay. Can you do anything with it? Not that I can go. Doing something. <laughs> no, turn into a separator. Stop dropping poop on the ground. Why are you doing that? No, stop it. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. Obviously something goes into here. Oh, whoa, oh, oh shit. I just pick it up. True. Hold on. Let's let's jump into this thing. Move it a little closer and see if we can like. Does this thing go into here? You have to have a wrench to pick it up? Hello? Hi. Fine. Well, fine then! You're bringing the poop. That's just to separate the manure? It's a dry product. Oh, okay. Damn, how long is this thing? Holy crap! <laughs> it's... Oh, 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 okay? Uh... Oh, uh, damn. Uh, hmm, okay. Oh. Uh, we just stretched that hose all over the place? I would assume, I would assume that the water pump can go down by the, uh, by the pond, but. Okay. That's this thing on the forklift? Yeah, that's the thing on the forklift. Yeah, it can go down by the pond, I guess. Um, let me put it back on the ground before I drop it. I'm going to, I'm going to fill this thing up here real quick and see if I can connect something to it. The uh, do you all? Where you want this JCB? Because I'm going to be taking off here soon. Uh, just parked anywhere over there. It pumps from an invisible source. It's just a magic pump, so just anywhere. Oh, crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see if I can get some time with you tomorrow. No guarantees on that one. Yeah, just hit us up, dude. Not all night chat. Later, Dopey. Night. Yep.
Okay, um... I guess... How do you connect all these things? What the shit? Like a way to connect them? Huh. Oh gosh! <laughs> like not a way to connect the pipes? Umbilical hose. Oh, okay. Okay. Like apparently. Use the wrench. No. Stop trying to connect it there. Attach. Get to where though? It says when you click on the left mouse, it says um, with an umbilical hose wrench, you can connect hoses together. Hoses together. Um. I feel like you have to be smarter than the DLC, which I am not. Uh, but the black thing you bought, it says it's a container that can be used as an interim storage of liquid manure. Well, you can enter the pump. You can't do anything with it. Hasn't been. Where are you going with the hose? I don't know. I just clicked on it and it was like, I can't let it go. Are you trying to get it attached to the back of this truck? I'm trying to get it attached to anything. Pull your wrench and just stick it in somewhere. And this is why I like gold rush hoses. Yeah. Yup. Yeah, this isn't. This is this is weird. Hmm. Well, eventually we'll get things to stick somewhere. No one there. All this range. Okay. So the it's... the pump thing that you bought it says needs to be near liquid manure tank trailer or trigger. Is that this thing? Because yeah, it doesn't want to do anything. Either, so I don't think it's the back of that trailer. That thing? I don't know. You can just grab it and bring it over here. We have uh, things turned on. Right. I got it. Maybe. <laughs> We might not even have all the pieces. Yeah, one of us is gonna have to break down and watch a video. How many window lickers does it take to figure this out? No videos. All right. Where'd this pump? Wait, dopey. Where'd the hose go? <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. See if you can connect it. Is that no. honestly? I don't think it actually connects right to them. Dude, this has a filter on it. I think this is for water. This is for water. It's a magic pump. Okay. Take it easy, Oz. Good. I think when you do that, it just connects anywhere. I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know. Change well, usually there'd be like an indicator. Is there a way to like unfold this thing? Hold on. Um, you can enter the pump like a vehicle. Um, hmm. And the only thing it says, oh, it doesn't say anything now. When I was over by the water, it, it was saying something. I think that actually is attached. 
Oh. Uh, in the in the store, it says all that is used for is filling up water. That's all it does. Hmm. But well, we already have that. It's the truck then. Over here. Hold on. Let me uh, bring the. Um... This thing holds water, so let's bring this thing over. Oh, hold on. Something just popped up. Uh -huh. Uh. There you go. Attach umbilical. There it is. Hey. Hey, what do we know? It's we did connected. something. Connected to something. Don't know what. <laughs> so, to disconnect this thing? So it does connect to here. You just need to drive it over with the truck. <laughs> if I know, man, I don't, I don't know. Lower container. Catch umbilical first? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Stop it. It won't let me. It won't let me do anything. Hey, What's it me... attached to on the other end? Uh, nothing. Oh, that's probably why. It won't let me disconnect. Oh gosh, can I just drag the hose everywhere? I, I think you need to use your um your wrench. It's moving. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, moving. Don't it. worry. It's dra dragging hose. Okay, 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 okay. Says you can just connect hoses with this thing. Yeah, you're definitely stretching it, but why can't I disconnect this thing now? Okay, here, activate. Take it to the here. river. Cruise. No. It won't let me lower. Press Q. No, it won't. It says I need to lower it first. Attach umbilical. How do I how do I disconnect this one from the tank though? <laughs> so it should be connected to this pump, right? This thing? No, nothing's connected. It just won't let me disconnect it. Hatch it? Mm. Open? No? It won't let me disconnect the umbilical. Hmm. Oh, let me grab a tractor. I haven't disconnected anything yet. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, just fill up. What are you guys doing? Well, Dopey connected it to something, I think. No, I'm trying to figure out where it goes. Okay. Just drive off with somebody holding the hose. I haven't disconnected anything yet. It won't let me disconnect anything yet. Uh, let go of the hose on that end and see what happens. Hmm. No. What's this thing do? Uh, low. It won't let me lower. It won't let me detach. The other so end of thing, the injector that cleans umbilical hoses, Ferris. Oh, uh. the uh... here. I'm gonna back this thing up so you can pull the hose a little bit more. Control Q. Does I need to lower this thing first, and it won't let me. I think we might need one of the tanks. Yeah. As like a, a reservoir for the pump. Refill yeah. pump container. Okay, there we go. That's refilling. Wait, unless th this thing is like a big reservoir, right? It is a yeah, reservoir. Yeah, it's up. I just, can't, yeah, water I, just I just filled it up from the water tank that's right here. Oh, okay. okay. So that's working, but I can't lower this damn thing. Wait, there's two hose outlets on the back of this thing. Maybe one of them's for water. Yeah, can anybody try disconnecting the umbilical? Because I can't get it to uh, disconnect. 
And it won't let me lower it, so I can't disconnect it. No, it just says um, that you can only connect hoses together. It's a, uh, yeah, it says attach. Rotate? No. I can't even disconnect the trailer from it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, can I just reset the trailer? That'll disconnect it. Maybe. Maybe the hose will get yanked across the map. <laughs> That's not right. Uh, maybe try this. What did I do? I, I broke it as as normal. Okay, what does this thing do here? Hold on, two seconds here, guys. Yeah, it won't even let you switch to the tractor. No, yeah, it won't even let me switch to anything. Detach umbilical hose. I got it. What was the button? Y on the controller. Yeah, it didn't even show <laughs> that for me. Attach. It's the same as the attach and detach is the same button. Yeah, that didn't show up at all for me. So okay. it was Q. No. Oh, none of those buttons. I even saw them. Could have just been glitched. Okay, the container's on the ground and it's attached. Alright, this thing's stuck. Can you drag the hose out into the field more? Okay. Just drag it. It's stuck cool. inside the slurry tank right now. Lift. Lift. Uh, you gotta detach it. That's kind of lame. You gotta detach the hose before you can lift or drop it. Yeah. It doesn't really seem like there's any reason for that. Okay, there it goes. Alright, I uh, go ahead and stop so I can drive over this thing. Okay. Right here. What the shit is that thing? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Uh, lower. Does this thing connect on here? Oh, that must be the poo spreader. This is what they call the poo injector. But I don't know where the actual... To inject the poo. It, inject it looks like it goes up here on top. Hmm. I don't know if you have to use another tractor with the spool and drive up to it. Maybe we grab it and try to put it on there? You're missing a piece of equipment? Hmm, what am I missing here? I'm missing something. Yeah, we didn't we didn't grab everything either, so. Hmm. I'm sorry, did we not grab the pump? I don't think we did. I think we kind of need a pump. That would make sense. Yo, what's oh, up, Ian? We can't have the hoses without the pump. Well, you know, I mean. You were supposed to grab one of everything. Bro, I just, you know, sometimes you just, <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> I think we were supposed to grab one of these. You know, let's just, yeah, let's just grab one of those. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Just no, no worry about it. It's okay. This shit happen. Okay, I'll take this tractor. Don't worry about it. I'll be, I'll be right back. So the black thing is technically a pump. That's what I thought it was a pump. So I don't know. It, it says it's an interim storage. So I think it's like something you park in the middle of the field when you run out of hose. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like you put it, like you, you're supposed to pump it, right? And fill it. Hey, listen, I don't, I didn't go out and watch like 40 YouTube videos like you nerds, all right? Be alone. Stop harassing me. Look at chat. Still need one more piece. 
Oh, there's a there's a tool for attaching stuff. Mm, let me take a uh, look here. HS5100. It says attach the tool carrier to tractor first to be able to attach tools used with umbilical. This thing right here. Hmm. It's a HS5100. It's 45 grand. That's the only thing we like we don't have now at this point, so. What does that connect to? Not PTO, is it? No. It says it hooks up to the tractor. Okay, it is. Holy hell. This is a lot of work just to smear poo all over the ground. No doubt. <laughs> Especially for such a small small amount. Now the real question is, is it going to use just as much uh, freaking slurry as the other slurry things, or do they fix that too? Because if it does, it's almost pointless. It'd be fun for RP, but... Cars are getting out of just getting everything done, man. There are going to be hoses everywhere? No, I want to wind them up. Especially while we're trying this out. The trailer video, the hose has to drag behind you while you're spraying the shit. All right, so here's a pump. All right, so we got the pump on the back. Right, so we can take this, bring all the stuff down here. Okay, right. Okay, so we have plenty of hose to play with. We'll set this here. <laughs> and we can take this connected to the back. And then the other thing fits on this. Because that's what you were talking about when you said you said it looked like that thing connected to it. Because that goes onto this over here. You just bought the pack oh. yourself. What have you missed? You missed a whole bunch of tards trying to figure out how to play with a whole bunch of equipment. <laughs> Don't worry. This is what's up, man. Wait, this goes onto the back of that? No. No, that doesn't fit like that. It goes the other way. This goes on the back of the of the uh, the pump. There we go. This thing. Right I'm right. stuck. Oh. Right, so this goes into the back of that little trailer hitch there. You see how it has the little bar and then it has the trailer? Yeah, like that. It has to. Where does it go? That looks like a separate piece that would uh, go into the slurry tank or something. According to the store, it says that's used to attach stuff together. It's used to attach stuff together. But sir, okay, there's a an inlet here that goes out over here. Okay, um, can you move that thing a little bit? I don't know where it goes. You gotta unfold it underneath of it. Okay. That makes kind of sense. I got gotcha. you. There you go. Then connect in. 
Good, you got the tractor. Just go ahead and connect it in. See if you can get it to go. There. Okay, I see the. Uh, I see the. Um, what's it called? Here. One sec. You had it right. It'll connect in there with the. Uh, the connection. Th connection thing. I think he grabbed the hose right when I was trying to. It popped up to grab the hose with the tool. Oh, carrier. I'm sorry. I'm oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This reminds me of the time I tried to put a sprinkler system together. Yeah, we don't want to put the hose on there yet, right? Well, shouldn't there be another hose to that no, box that we put down? It's like down? this. It's right here. Like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes what sense. What the shit? Now when you drive over the hose, you can connect the hose. Um, what is that bar? Where are we, how do we get rid of that bar thing? Oh god. It's just... Uh, that does not seem right. Yeah, the bar... It's not connected, right? behind it. <laughs> That's Hold so on. wrong. There we, there we go. It's off to the side now. We got... <laughs> just, just, we're so it's stupid. not connected. We're so stupid. Oh no. We're dumber than farm sim. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Maybe you should have watched the video. No, no, I refuse. <laughs> no. I think it's supposed to drag behind it because there's a hole in the back of the spreader, like about the right. same size as that pipe. Don't don't fold. It does. It does look like it does. It does go right in the back. It does look like that. It's definitely glitched out, though. Oh, it's it's definitely user error. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> Fly! Fly! I believe I can fly. <laughs> it's, try, it's trying to do something here. Don't worry, it, it'll work. Trust me. <laughs> Doing a pretty good job of twerking. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There we go. We said to lower the application tool. Can you turn it then, on? Then it turns. Okay, there we go. We but managed... Also, I think you're going to have to um, turn off the engine thing because uh, you got to be in this tractor to keep the pump running. Oh, okay. I'll go over there and do that real quick. I'm in it now. Oh, okay. As soon as I got in, it throttled up. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're doing it by yourself, yeah. Okay, so, so activate double rate. I'm gonna get this crap off the field, please. Oh my gosh. Funky meat football. Equal get humped. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, it's actually working. We we've managed to figure something out. Oh my gosh, did I just run out? No. It looks like it. How much does that no, take? No, pulled off. It, yeah, it just connected. The hose popped so. off. Hold on, I, I got the hose. Let me reconnect it to you. You're driving away. Who, me? Okay. Oh, you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to reconnect it to you here. Um. Okay, well, that's weird. There's no... Oh, gosh. Where did he connect last time? What just happened? It does not want to connect. Hold on, put it back. I got a pop-up in here. Okay. Yeah, it only worked when they, he was inside the truck. There you go. You have to push left shift and Q. Don't worry, we will figure this out. It will be okay. 
figure out this water pump. Okay, we got uh, we got go go juice. Oh, stop. How we doing over there, boys? The water pump just went for a dive. You should be good to go now. Okay. How much uh, slurry is in that over there? It's uh, 84% right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, what's hose happened? Pop off again. Okay, the hose keeps popping off. It's because we're as we must be overstretching it is what it is. I'm pulling it, so you need to bring that thing closer to the the thing, right? Well, so yeah, I think um, they're too far away. You're too far away from me. There's a truck on top of it. Yeah, but you're and also gonna be. Stuff. We're also like going around this stupid corner. So if you grab the uh, the hose and you bring it closer to us, it should be. Uh, it should stop doing that. Hopefully. Cause it's trying to pull it, so. All right. So, David. Now the shame is, is, oh man, it just pulled off again. Yep. Okay, so it, see how it follows its trail, right? Yeah, you'd have to bring that all the way over to the corner so it has, like, room. You know what I mean? It stops going around that stupid snake pattern. I think doing? it's one of those things where you need to follow behind. Mm. I don't really necessarily think you have to follow behind. It's just, it's just, uh, it needs to be rabbled back up and put in its uh, proper place because we stretched it so far, right? Exactly what uh, J-Rob's doing, moving it back to the uh, middle row. Because the, the the it'll it has nowhere to pull from, so it keeps pulling it out of uh, his end. Yeah, there you go, like that. Just pull that end over. Um, yeah, should be fine. Let's see if it pulls out again. You have definitely have enough cord there. So you'd pretty much have somebody running slurry to that box right there, right? Now, can you put a pump? Now, we can put a pump right from the slurry tank to over here, right? In and into that, uh, that bin? Maybe. I mean, I tried to attach it to the slurry tank. It didn't really work. But there is a, there is a pump, though, that we bought, so... Yeah, there's a big pump that you can use a thousand meters of hose on. Okay, so we can run that thing. I got you. I got you. I feel you. I see what's going on. You're using the... Yeah, we are using a short hose right now, so... Because uh, we're just kind of testing it out. So, if you guys want, you can set the, the pump that I brought over on the slurry... The slurry thing, I think. Right? And then... You can run one of those to this, I believe that's how that works. You don't need to run, um, what's it called anymore? And how much is that used so far? But you didn't buy a pump, you bought a separator. Oh, I bought another pump, actually. I bought oh, the, sorry. I bought the big pump. I did bring it down here, I just don't know where it's at. You have uh, 932,000 liters left of salvage. Sorry, not salvage. Um, Flurry? 900,000 liters? Wait, what? Sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay. I was like, what the heck? All right, this works better. Okay, I, I okay. So the, the umbilical, this umbilical is just right for this size, but you would have to move it with me. Redhead, dude, thank you much for the uh, follow, buddy. Welcome to the channel. 633,000 liters of flurry. And how much does that truck have in it? 
Uh, we're at 55% and 25,000 liters. Okay, this is pretty cool once we now we figured it out, but holy crap, man. Freaking dum dums over here. Yeah, but how do you use this pump? Um, just, just guesstimating, it looks like you're able to do five lines on this field out of one tank. Out of one tank? That's not too bad then. It's not too bad. It has a water pump, right? So did this did this patch fix the issue with how much slurry is being used? Does anybody know that? Now that we figured that all out? <laughs> the head scratcher, right, dude? Hmm. Mm. I mean, this is the most complicated thing that they've had in the game so far. It's like, um... And this connects to... What? <laughs> look, I didn't look at anything. I didn't look at one video. I didn't look at nothing. Neither did I. No, I just wanted... Sometimes I like those moments in stream, though. I like sitting there trying to figure things out. I like those head scratchers. You know what I mean? You're just like, hmm. Okay. It would make a ton of separated manure doing virus for bedding when you use the separator system. Uh, I don't know what he's doing over there. No, it goes on the um, on the actual tank itself. Not like I think you have to put it on it, but I'm not sure. I, I have no clue where that pump actually goes. Oh, well, did I just pull it out or? Yeah, it, finally, it pulled off again. Okay, so it, it it did hit its uh its limit. Replaces the need for straw bedding. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. We really don't run straw for bedding anyways. Oh, so I don't have to put it in there? Wait, 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 stop running around for a second. <laughs> Wait, are you putting a pump out here, or what are you doing? I have no clue no. where that pump would go. I think the pump goes on the, uh... I think the pump would go near the... What's it called? I can't figure out how to connect the hose to it. The hose? The hose you have to reel out first. But that hose is, right. like, monstrous. I think it's a 500 Oh, okay, meter. there it goes. Yeah. So you want to reel that back up, because that hose will freaking you can't just cut the hose right 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 okay that one that's a, that one you'd want to reel all the way down over here somewhere and then you gotta plug and then back that, up then okay. you have to plug that one i think into the pump that sits on the actual at itself I, I don't know i'm just i'm just guessing here this thing hmm. maybe what's it called um okay all right j rob i'm, I'm gonna I'm going to drop this here and back up, see if you can connect to it. That didn't work. Why isn't it popping it out? Start unwinding. There it is. So where do we put this thing? Where does this pump actually go? Pumps, pumps can be uh, used to pump liquid manure and digestate for umbilical applications. Water storage will positively impact the pump's condition. Yeah. But it won't let me connect to the one you just dropped. I don't know if it's because it's not unwound all the way or what. It's not unwound all the way. We got to unwind it all the way. I would assume. Okay. Uh, put that pump thing right over here. Like, or just drop the pump. What are you doing? Just donuts? Oh, I'm trying to unwind it. <laughs> Farming donut simulator. Just dropping a uh, 500 meters of hose. 
Well, I gotta have the uh, the pump has to be attached to a tractor. Okay, why don't, why don't we do this then? Why don't you wind that back up and we'll change hoses okay. and we'll go with the shorter hose for the pump. Yeah, it's winding back up. What I can't figure out is where the other end of this hose is. Ah. All the way out here where you put it? No, I mean, where do you... It doesn't attach to anything. It has one end. <laughs> because you have to unwind it all the way, bro. Oh, okay. Bro. <laughs> but you got to drive around bro, to unwind bro, it. Bro, when you wind saying. up a garden hose, where's the very first part of the nozzle go? Into the winder. Right, then it, you wind it, and it's buried. It wants me to drive it around to unwind it. Exactly. You got to unravel it. Okay. Well, that's what I was doing. I was doing donuts. Unwind it. Just, just, just pick the hose up, and we'll use the smaller one. Okay. <laughs> You're using a 500 meter or something hose right now. That thing is massive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have to go to this one, right? So how do I? Can I? Do I have to detach it by hand? Uh, I think you got to be in the tractor. Uh. I think you got to switch to the the attachment tool and disconnect. Okay, so we are in the, let's see here, fold tool, lower tool, let's we'll see, do I have to f detach hose first? What is the attach, detach button for the hose? You want to switch uh, the hose to one and the pump to the other? Yeah, I'm no, trying yeah. to I'm trying to get I think to disconnect, but that's not it. Rosario, man, thank you oh. much for the uh for the follow. Appreciate that. I'm mm. Trying to get disconnect from there. I'm trying to get it to disconnect from this thing, yeah. Control Y. The control Y. I had um, you jump in. The connect. You jump in and see yeah. if it has the button for you. Um, you chose. There well, you go. I I don't have that button. Hold on. Let me let me get in there, and then uh, hit my keyboard, and it'll tell me what button that is. Um. I think you have to buy a set uh, a hose to use on the pump, because there's an option to wind and unwind hose on the pump. Wait. Let me guess. You don't have the button either now. Um. Oh, left shift. Wait. Okay, you gotta be. No. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you gotta be connected to the the smaller thing, not the, the um the spreader. Where'd it go? Oh no. So maybe push G when you're in that situation? See if it switches to one or the other? Well, for, for me, it's the Y button, is what it is. Yeah, but, but as soon as you connect or disconnect, now you're not going to be able to connect to it for some reason. Uh, let me jump in and see if it's now there mm -hmm. for me. Okay. <laughs> no, I know it's it's acting really weird. I don't understand either. Okay, J Rob's uh, winding it up, so. I saw something earlier with the big green uh, trailer pump with the 1500 meters of a uh, hose and did a whole field with it. They had it pumping out uh, one of the big green bins trailers in game. You also have to uh, have a little water pump connected to it there as well. Hmm. All right. So what, yeah, what J Rob's trying to do is J Rob's trying to use the pump and that hose go ahead and wind that one up real quick. Now, where did, where did you put the... Okay, he, you have the pump and the hose. Okay. Now, I'm wondering if you can actually go from the pump to the actual... Can we pump it right out of this area or no? That thing's massive.
Or is that only the separator? This is supposed to be a pump. I think you'd have to unwind it all the way, dude. So when you wind it back up, keep one end right here, and then run this one out to the field. And then we connect that to uh, like this thing here. Try that. Dude, where'd the end go? Here it is. Yeah, I already stretched it out. Okay, now try running. Let me bring this thing to you. Try connecting it to Evans. And dragging it over that thing. Is there any connection? Yeah, it's connected now. Disconnect from it. I can connect to the other end with this roll. Yeah, you can uh, lengthen it, but uh, one second on it. Will not let you disconnect from the uh, the actual thing itself. No, that's not gonna be. I don't think we can actually do it like that. Okay, so we got the pump to work from here. This one. Right? We got it to work from here. Can't find any good posts about key bindings. So what exactly are we supposed to be doing with this uh, pump here, guys? Like, I was thinking, like, does this pump have to go to... Like you're saying, like the big green one, uh, like what's his name was uh, Stoked was saying um, in. Yeah, shut up, train. I think it just, I think it just boosts the, um, like the the range capacity. From what it says in the store. In the store, it says. Used pump liquid in order to gestate for umbilical application. Water storage will positively impact the pump condition. It doesn't really detail. No. I think this thing will actually work. No way. No freaking way that works. You see that they actually added in new silos with pumps and hoses? I did. The, the, I'm just trying to get this part of it worked out first before I even try to do that disaster. <laughs> right. I'm just wondering if there's if this pump attaches only to those silos. Um, it could be like Varus was saying. It could be a, a heavier pump to kick farther out, right? But I got an uh, idea here. Uh, Varus, can you bring that up here? And actually, I'll just buy another hose reeler while I'm up here. And um, you can connect it to any trailer that holds slurry. I have an idea then. So let me go grab the trailer. Then I'll grab another hose with a couple smaller hoses so we can see what's going on here. Right now we only have that gigantic hose and we and I don't want to have to unravel the whole damn thing. So we'll grab a couple smaller hoses just to see. It should be able to refill the tank. Well, that's what I was wondering, how we get it from our thing. So we might have to go from the green to the pump. Not certain. So that's why I'm just going to grab a couple things here. Let's grab. Hmm. 
And we need Okay. And let's grab some hose hundreds. Let's go blue on that. Bye. Okay. And then let's go yellow on that as well. Okay. Just kind of testing things out here. What's this thing over here by the pig? The silver. Uh, that is a separator. Ah, oh, okay. I'm just grabbing a couple more pieces while while I'm here. So, just grabbing more, grabbing uh, some shorter lengths of uh, hose. So, testing where we're testing things out here with it. See how we want to do something. All right. On my way. Okay, so they're saying this thing connect to the whole chain. So we'd want to fill this thing up. Yeah, so then uh, pump next to it and run the hose from the pump to the spreader. Yes. That's, that's pretty much what I was thinking too. Okay, let's get these, uh, let's get all these other umbilicals and stuff like that rounded up here. I got some shorter ones here I just brought in. Okay, so you got the bigger spool thing, so uh, lower that uh, down. I'll have you pick up uh, that. Bars. What am I doing here? Okay, you're you're trying. You're gonna. I need you to pick up the uh, this other hose on the ground. Oh, okay. We just have we have spaghetti mountain going on here. I'm trying to clean it up a little bit. Uh, you want me to pick it up on this spool? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. One second. We're just going to clean it up there a little bit and try to get some bigger uh, tanks connected here. This is definitely not awesome in single player. Oh, it's 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 not fun by yourself to play. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this thing right here for now. Right? Okay. And then I'm going to take this small blue hose. I'm going to, or the yellow one. And I'm going to run uh, this yellow one right, let's see here. Unload hose. Oh. Nope. We want to go R. What is it here? Lower? Yep. 
don't want to fold the reel. Oh wait, you just I just connected to you over there. Hold on. Oh, source reel. Oh, okay, what the what the shit? Ah! <laughs> yeah. You can uh oh, you can overflow the hose just like you can overflow. Well, oh, that's not what I wanted. Give me that back. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to lower the hose here so you can connect to it. Like Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, I know, right? We're just slurping the big noodles down. Do the uh, <laughs> unwinding thing, I think. Okay. Uh. Unwind. Where's it at here? Unload. Uh, okay. Change unwinding. And it'll tell you to move. You gotta hit start, something else again. Start unwinding. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, there you I'm gonna drag this one out here. Okay. Boom. Can you connect that to the, uh, bring the pump over here and connect it to the very end. I'm going to try to pick the slurry tank and connect it to the, uh, the yellow line here. But keep this thing on the pad. You want to stretch that hose over here, Bars, if you can? Grab the yeah. yellow hose and bring it, uh, bring it over here. I gotta be able to hit the fill button on this thing. Yeah, there you go. Just drop it there. And we'll see if it'll let me, uh, connect into it. Oh, it just went away. Hmm. Let me move it. It should show you left shift and Q on the screen. Where'd it go? I it's think you're back. It's over this way. Oh. Oh, no, just had the pump next to the trailer? Uh, okay. Well, do we even need the trailer then? Or the, the thing, or can we just put it, uh... Oh, it's all ma... All this magical bullshit they keep doing. All right, yeah, just run that over and put that next to uh, this trailer here, and we'll just leave this thing here. Is you connect to it and then leave that next to the trailer. Okay, so this we're just gonna leave here. All right, so there you go. Now connect that hose to the pump and then leave that next to the... Yeah, that part is stupid. See, I thought they were gonna be... That's why maybe it might be confusing me. Is because I was hoping so that like you actually right have to here. connect things. There's connections right here on the front of the trailer. Can you not connect to this uh, yellow hose now? It's in the ground. Somewhere. Oh. God, where to go? Right here somewhere. All glitched out in the ground? Yeah. I can't see it no more. It disappeared. Where to go? Uh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, here it is. Wait, I hear... Yeah. I see. It's slowly falling into the ground. Holy crap. All right. Let me pick it back oh. up. Did you get it? No, I didn't pick it up. All right. Let me see if I can uh, wind it back up. Holy crap, Ola. Yeah, why can't we just have gold rush hoses, please? <laughs> yet another game can't, can't get the hoses right, but yet gold rush the potato gets it right. <laughs> Gosh damn it. <laughs> okay, shift Q. Okay, let's go ahead and reel this thing back up. Winding. Start winding. Wait, I can see it now. 
I got it. I'm. I got this. I'm bringing it in. I can see it. Cause I'm dragging it. Okay. I'll just lay it down. I'll. I'll just lay it back down. All right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect this thing to the the magical pump of doom over here. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna bring this here. And we're gonna put this right here. All right. So. It's so dumb here. because there's connections right here. Yeah, no, but the game obviously doesn't want you to have to connect anything. They haven't figured it out yet, so. Uh, okay. Now, can you connect the, the pump to that thing now? J-Rob, with the, uh, can you drive over and connect to it? Don't lift it up, can guys. Let him, let him, uh, try to grab a hold of it with the, the pump. Oh. Okay, let me, uh, let me fully unwind this thing here first and then try it. Just to make sure we don't get the, the hose glitched into the ground again. Okay. It's and connected. You're connected now? Yeah. Okay. Now just leave that right there by the thing. Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, just leave leave that right next to it. Not in the front, because we have to connect the, uh, uh, we'll, we'll eventually have to get yeah, just right in the side. It, it, they said it just magically takes from it, so. Now, the real question is, is can we drive this thing over to the pump and will it fill this thing up? Okay, one second. Just trying a couple things out. Mm. Damn, bruh. I'm trying to get out of the way. I didn't know where you were going. We're just trying to get one fill to the next fill to the next fill from our, our thing, right? So, oh, I'm really, yep, it has. Okay, so now I can connect to this end. And now can we fill this thing up is the question. All right, so shift Q. Boom. Okay. It is, when yes. We did that, it gave me an option to turn the bump on. Yes. Okay, we are now receiving... But it says I've got no water and no something else. Okay, so you're going to need to put the little water pump next to you. I have it. The little water pump, just grab it by hand and put it next to this thing here. There's also another icon that looks like uh, orange squiggly lines. Orange squiggly lines. Let me take a look here. Uh, that's slurry. It doesn't say you have slurry. Here, let me jump in real quick. Orange squiggly lines. Water. We just don't have any water. Wait, where did you get the... Uh... Below the water. Oh, that's the uh, spool. Or is there... How many lines did you see? Three? Or just two? Just two. Okay, water, and that's the hose. Okay, where'd that little right water here. the little water pump? Yeah, go ahead and put that next to here. Activate pump? Yes. Alright. Okay, water's going in now. And is that tank draining? Yes. The slurry is going down. Okay, awesome. It looks like it went down. Okay, sweet. So then we just need a tractor plugged into this at all times. That way we can uh, always be pumping from our tank to there. And now we have the chain set up right. So now we can run this gigantic freaking hose here. Uh, and we can uh, put the, the pipe out, right? So, so this one... We should be able to run here. <laughs> yeah, that one's 1,200 meters long now. I'm going to suck up that other one. Okay, hold on here. Start. I don't think Point. you necessarily need this black thing. Uh, I think you can run straight from the pump if you have a long hose. Yeah, this is just an intermediate storage. Oh, you can't run another hose from that? Oh, you can only do one hose? It's just only... Uh, okay. 
So we have to get, yeah, we'll have to get rid of that one completely. So just disconnect that. Um, that's kind of lame. But you can, you can connect that spool into the yellow hose. Yes. Okay, so we just don't even need that thing anymore. The way we're doing it here. Unless we want to go, you know, up to the, we do need it. Not really, but not, we really don't need it, but. All right, now what we'll, we'll do is this. we'll uh, spool this thing out, start uh, winding. No, the let's go pull one. No, don't lower hose umbilical. Not what we want. Hold umbilical. No, change to winding. No, start winding. No, e. you might have to start winding and then stop winding. They connect together? Yeah. You can just make one long fat hose, bro. It's cool. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That one's uh, disconnected now. Uh, maybe... I don't know if they... Um... Yeah, you drug the hose away from me. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird with these three hoses on here. It's kind of acting a little weird. I think it might be too much. I think it is too much. Hold... Yeah, it, 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 it is. Much. It is way too much. I gotta hold on. Let me uh, unwind these things here real quick again. Change to unwinding. Yeah, I'll pick up the other hose. Yeah, I'm connected though, so it's gonna be kind of a change to winding. See, it just won't let me uh, change to unwinding. Why patch umbilical? Pull out the chainsaw, I guess. No. So this pump can only do a thousand meters of hose. Not sure how big the links you have are. Uh, 500, but we, he has both of them connected, but I can't change it. I guess, I guess I'm just going to have to pick it up. If that pump does a thousand, we can just go right off there, but I got to get rid of this other hose first. Yeah. Cause you're going to have like almost two on that reel. So I can just unload these umbilicals. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Get off my damn thing there. All right. And then I can just take this one here. And... Unwind. Just start unwinding. Here, I'll leave you a little bit of room here. This is complicated as hell. Not really. Once you figure out that they have all these magical bullshit things you got to deal with. <laughs> but do we need the green thing just because the pump can't work with these tanks? Uh, I Probably. believe so. I don't, you know, see, here's the thing, though. Now that we know it's, it's all magical, try to remove the green thing, try to remove the green thing, and then just set it next to the, the thing. Well... This green thing does have hose connections on the front of it. I know, but it doesn't I'll mean that enough. nothing connects to nothing here, though, though, bro. You gotta remember that. It's throwing you right. off. It's all magic. Here, I'll move the green thing. They don't have any connections. So just move the green thing and see if all it right, can pull right from the tank. I'm just, I'm literally just doing a donut here on the ground, dropping <laughs> this hose <laughs> on the ground. Yeah, it's a long ass hose. Why circles? Because just, we're just going to unravel it. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, there we go. There was two damn hoses connected together. There was three on there. <laughs> why are there, Why did you guys all connect them onto one? I think that one had two on it to begin with. Like, the like you, you bought the big hose, but it's two pieces. Okay. Varys, take the tractor with the applicator thing over there to the end of the hose. 
See if you can get connect. I'll yeah, I'll jump in here real quick and uh, take it over. Make sure the water pump's close to you. Get in it and oh, it doesn't want to activate now. Nope, now it's activated. It's weird that shit doesn't connect. So it it, it, it it's that that's what's throwing me off is things actually don't connect. It's all magic. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now, my thing is, does somebody have to stay in this water pump? Because, like, you know, with the tractors, they turn off when you get out of them. No, I can do auto start also. Auto start on. Okay, I'm connected okay. over here. How are we looking? I guess we're just going to see if we get slurry, right? Um, I don't think... You're not close enough to the water pump here. There we go. Activate. It does not want to activate. Going on here again. I'm the hose was bit. really weird too because it connected to the reel. Then I had to lift the unit and then it connected to the bottom. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it won't let me activate the water pump at all. I think like I'm too close. Could be. Maybe it can't pump that far. I'm only I only got 500 attached to it. Right, but what's the water pump rated for? The water pump? I don't even um, have an option to turn the pump on. You don't even have an option to turn a pump on? Okay, because there's no storage next to it. Bring the green thing back in. Let's see if you connect to it. It just says pump to water. Yeah, the green it. thing has to be there. Okay, so it can't pump directly from a silo. You have to pump Oops. it. You have to pump it from the green thing. This is okay. one of the special. And we're right? also losing um, silage right now. Or not so. Uh, we're slurry. Yeah, we're losing slurry right now and water. How? Just because the, right. the pump's running, it's like uh. Okay, I'm using. I'm using. Uh, I'm using it right now. Oh, yeah, okay. but when you weren't using it, it was running. Machine drains losing. either way. Hmm. Okay, the green thing's back. We put okay, the water pump. Lower Let's tool. Okay. And. Oh, it's because I was hooked up to it and it's on. That's what it is. It's that's why we were right. losing water and losing it because I'm hooked up. It's actually pumping while it's on. So would you have that? Uh, turn your pump off now. Yeah, hey, you just killed the feed. Now turn it back on. And we're good to go. So you just have to make All sure right. that that pump is not turned on. That's all um, it is. It's all you gotta do. I'm so confused. <laughs> it's it's really you, it's you would... it's real simple actually. It's not it's actually not that confusing now. <laughs> yeah, I got I got okay. a handle on it. <laughs> Good. You would think there'd be a way to like connect the hose and then spool it up and then have it while you're driving around it pulls out. Yeah. Yeah, spool spool ons are that's some crazy stuff, man. At least someone does. Well, no, see, it's it's not it's not it's before. not too difficult actually. It's uh it's just, the end, it's just where you connect everything. The connections make it look stupid. And then going back and forth and like this is kind of making it a little weird too. Yeah, I don't think they finished this. <laughs> no, they they did. They just don't have a good system for. I don't like the magical stuff. I don't like that in games when you can easily code things to connect. But if the if the giant's engine doesn't have it, then how could they code it in the first place, right? Yeah. Um. The whole point. I mean, I mean, look at it right now, guys. I, it's just glitched into the ground, right? So, has anybody else been having issues like this where it just didn't want to spool out properly or? 
maybe it's, it might be because I have it stretched like that. Maybe we can just run across the field and see what happens. Um, you know? I, I just really don't get the whole point of the DLC. So instead of using, like, a slurry tank spreader, you now have to have, like, four tractors, like, three extra pieces of equipment, just so you don't have to drive back to the tank and fill up. Pretty much. I mean... It's, it's just a way for them to really, in a sense, I, like right now I don't have to fill up, but look at the small work with that we're running with, though. right? Like, I'm not a fan so, of it. And also the green tank isn't filling back up, so we need to put a tractor on there to keep yes, that full. Exactly. So All somebody, right. somebody's got to jump in the tractor. I'm going to do that real quick. I, I guess for me, like I said to begin with, I'm... Because you've almost used that whole green container worth of slurry already. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> Damn. Alright, there's a tractor connected to it. Is it going to turn off, though? Oh, I am, doing, I am doing a double application, that is why. I am putting in two layers of fur. And like I said, we're just testing right now. I, I wouldn't mind doing this on smaller fields, right? Like, I, w I wouldn't mind doing this on smaller fields. And the hose was a little messed up over there because I need to be stretching it long ways this way. So hopefully when I come all the way down... There's also no build animation for the uh, slurry. I didn't realize you were putting a double in. That's That makes it interesting, I guess. Yeah, I'm putting a double application in, so... I can, uh, we don't have to fur it later, right? So, I guess, I mean, if you have a cool little pig farm, I mean, this is, I like it. I, I can see where it's going to be nice to have, right? I can see where it's going to be nice. I can see where a smaller fee a farm, you know, where you, you can just double, you know, apply using some of your, you know, go a little bit more realistic on certain things. Uh, I can see that, right? But when we got to, when we got to turn and burn these crops, man. You know, and we're moving and going, right? Maybe if we went with like a super uh, realistic, uh, you know, go at it. Maybe running. See now, why isn't it leaving the hose on the ground over here, like it did before? Why is it just stretched out and not laying on the ground? No need for high horsepower equipment when doing this either. Yeah, so it's low horsepower equipment. Um. It is working, it's just not, maybe it's because the way I spooled it up in a circle could be most likely the thing that's affecting it. Um, but over, I mean, overall, I, I get the appeal of it. For me, I would say what I'm gonna like the best is what are other people gonna do with this whole system? Hopefully Giants doesn't like put their foot on everybody from doing stuff with it, right? You know what I mean? Like I wanna see them use the water more be able to spool this water out, water our crops, do things like that, right? This is fun and all, but like, sl not everybody wants to run slurry. Not everybody, it, it does make you want to do things with the slurry more, right? But on big scale, this is too small. You would need a lot of these out here doing that. And like J-Rob also said, what's the point over doing that over just running the tankers out, right? Like maybe it's nice, it's cheap, it is cheap because the tankers are expensive and you could run it right from your pig pen to a big green bin in the setup that we're kind of doing now on like a small scale. You don't need as much, you don't need as much hose. Um, you know, there's many applications that you could use this for that would just make it fun. Right. But these bigger farms like we're running, no, there's no way. Like, man, this is like, just insane. And so we're not really taking from that spool either. So. That spool that I made on the ground over here doesn't really work. It makes it want to glitch. So definitely don't do that. Because it wants to pull... It wants to pull only from that pivot point right there. See where it's pivoting? It's only pulling from there. Because that's as much hose as it's actually using. But nuts. It's it's cool. I, I like the concept. I, re I honestly do. I do like the concept. I kind of figured it was going to be a little jank to begin with, but... 
some of you watching earlier is having issues on multiplayer with mods, uh, but it worked well in single player with no mods. Hmm. It could be, it could be needed. To, it needs a few updates. It is day one, right? So it is day one. You know, like I said, will we see some bigger implements? Will we see, cause this is kind of small, man. I don't know. Are you using the 12 meter one? Yeah. Double. That's gonna take a lifetime. Yeah, it's it's just a, uh... and it's probably gonna take about four or five at least of these trailers. Well, slurry does use a lot. I don't. It's the ratio that it uses is insane, right? But we don't really. That, see, that's what they needed to do. Giants needed to raise and give us a. Give us a freaking bonus for using slurry, right? And give us an even bigger bonus for using double furted applications, right? They're not incentivizing us to use these new things that they're putting into their game. Like, why is why is fertilizing rated so high, but mulching and rolling is so ass? Like, I get it, but it's still so far off from making you want to use these things. But that's my complaint. It just doesn't seem like it's balanced properly. To make us really go okay yeah that yeah, yeah, yeah i want to use that but also make it to where it's close enough in the balance to where you're like you can do either or right so but it's it's not that way it's so lopsided that nobody just nobody cares i was really hoping that the spool would stay attached and then you just drag the spool attached and you know it would follow you and it wouldn't just be dragging the hose around Also, what he did was set up a tanker on auto drive. Yeah, I could see that too, because you do you could do a lot of things, right? So, so we have we gone through two tanks yet? Uh, yeah. We just went through a second tank. Crazy. I'm pretty sure we've used close to a hundred thousand liters of slurry. <laughs> hundred thousand liters of well, slurry. Because we're one down of these to five hundred now. Is uh sixty thousand, I think. And you've probably done what, maybe a third of that field? Yeah, like a third. Yeah, uh, the trade was sixty five thousand. That's not much. Yeah, it really is it really is not that much actually. Because you got to think of a big giant tanker, you're going to double a double application on a big tanker. You're going to pump through that in like one pass of a field this size. And that's like, what, 60,000 liters in one pass? Yeah, you are doing triple the width, but one pass, 60,000 liters is gone like instantly. Also, too, I'm driving over a dead spot right now, which I've already done. So I don't know if this is the is the slurry going down right now. It's hard to tell. Okay, so if the pump is on, it's probably... If the pump is... What I'm assuming is pump is on, slurry is it's, is getting spent. It's going down with the slurry. Yeah. Yeah, it's no just like what. lime and furt. Yeah. Okay. You guys want to jump in this, Rook? I'll, re I'll be right back. Well, it's like I have to go check on something. Actually, I'm gonna throw you guys at, to ads real quick. BRB. Yeah, if one of you guys wants to jump in the uh, tractor, just go ahead, jump on in. Get some we can't hop out of these, otherwise it'll quit. Oh, here, I'll, yeah. uh, look, which one do you want? Which one do you need me in? You want me in the, uh... Yeah, uh, Varus can take it. I gotta go pee. Okay. All right. Okay, beer beat.
Um. That's not working. Oh, alrighty. Sorry about that. Um, it's not doing anything. What do you mean? It's not dropping slurry. Not dropping slurry. Uh uh. All right. Make sure the water pump's still activated. Yeah, yeah. It's still active. Hmm. Is it working now? Come on. Yeah, I might have not uh, had something on. Here, go and jump in it now. What did you have on over there? Flurry is like 50 to 60% uh, compared to dry fur. 40, 60 compared to dry. Yeah. See if it works now for you. Alright. There wasn't really an activation. You just jumped in this one. That's all. No, it just it just works. Uh, make sure it's you ra raise it, raise it. Raise it. Do I need to turn the pump on or something? or? Just, you have to be in that tractor. The, which one? The, oh, now it's working. Okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. You see, it is cool. I mean, it's definitely cool. It's definitely a cool new system that we've never had in farm sim, right? Like, it's definitely something interesting. I think it's a cool feature. It's something, it's something nice to have. Did they, did it, did it kind of seem a little weird? How, okay. How, I, I know why they, they can't, it would, it would have been nice if we actually had to like connect the hoses to the little things and you see the connection go to the thing, but I get why, because the, the giant's engine doesn't really have those type of things. Right. So rock it out. So what we got the slurry for, so. This setup costs close to the big slurry though. Yeah, I think it is actually, it's pretty close. See, the, the cool thing about this though, is that if you turn auto engine off, when it turn, you know, the auto, the engine thing, you, it, you can do this just by yourself, right? And, and it is a nice, neat, cool little thing. It, it is, you know what I mean? Are you on a worker or what is going on over there? What are you what are you doing, Bars? Yeah, no no slurries being used at the moment. Yeah, it's kind of crazy though. I don't know. How do you guys feel in chat? How do you guys feel about it? The ones who got it and and stuff. Do you guys feel like it's just real early still and needs a lot of work? It still needs some work, I believe. It feels like it still needs work. I feel like the 12 meter was kind of a slap in the face as well. I can't get it to work. I had to put a worker in it. Oh, weird. Let me uh let me let me jump in it real quick. All right. Yeah, I think it costs roughly the same as uh Yeah, you had to put a worker in it to get to even drop and work for you, huh? Yeah, I don't even have an activation uh key binding. Uh for the controller, it's just not there. I have no, 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 raise there, and lower and fold. There, there is no activation button on this. Oh, then it just didn't want to work. 
Yeah, it's just, you just got to raise it up and then lower it down. Uh, let's see here. Let's go second. Let's lower. Uh, okay. Come on. Let's see here. Lower that down. There it is. Okay. Yeah, you just gotta lower them is all you gotta do. You gotta make sure they're both lowered. I mean, the amount of hose you need and the headache of trying to reel it in and out hose uh is not practical yeah it's kind of a it's kind of an odd it's kind of an odd scenario here with this um with this thing right i i do like it i get it it makes sense but it's just kind of like i don't know it seemed a little jank it's almost it, novelty it, it, i i that's the word i would use for it too the water pump disconnected I don't know why it deactivated. No clue. This should be good. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good though. It's still pumping slurry out. I mean, I mean, okay. If I'm if I'm building a real tight small farm, and I have my my pigs or I have my something there, right, and it's close by. Like, like it is right here in this field. Yeah, cool. Right on. Awesome. Sweet. Right? Hells yeah. But, I don't know, man. I think you're right. I think I just would prefer just to truck in and use the old stuff. It, I, I think I'm, I'm with you there as well, Varus. I think it's just a little too novelty. Not enough function and too much novelty, so... Well, in our in our gameplay, do where do we really fit size, it? To do a field that size, you know, how many pigs do you have to have to justify it? Uh, and, well, and, you and can then, also have can cows. To feed them? Yeah, how much did it cost you, like price wise? It, it, this is not justifiable in any means, as far as like how much money it's costing me us to do this right now, because we could have been done with the Rubicon in like twenty seconds, right? Yeah, and single time. application, seeded, uh, and everything <laughs> like that. This is this is one. Can we all agree this is one hundred percent RP? Yeah, it feels one hundred percent RP farm sim it, it, content. Complete novelty RP. Complete waste of time for for a big. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all novelty. I I feel it, I don't know, like I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's I cool. just feel like it's too novelty for what it is. It's too niche. 100% fantasy. No, I've actually seen setups like this. I've actually seen this in real life. I've actually yeah, yeah, seen stuff. Have, I've but... actually seen this here on the island. I've actually seen people using stuff kind of like this. It's just too slow to use in a game. Like I said it's more. It's more RP. I, I okay, let's actually let's actually really think about this too. A lot of the DLCs that came out already for 22 have all been very, very small equipment. Nothing, yeah. like I was saying, nothing's been industrial. Big scale, nothing. Nothing has been that way. It's Ooh. all been Vermeer, small. Kubota, small. This, small mm -hmm. scale. And it's all oh. around RP style realistic gameplay. All of it is. Hopefully the logging DLC, the platinum DLC is big. Yes, I hope that's what's going to make it up for for the small scale equipment, right? Because it's, it's called the Platinum DLC, so it better be big. <laughs> Maps, everything. The map, the map seems nice. All the showcase and that and stuff like that. Uh, this seems like all just filler content, honestly. Like filler. Well, the Kubota DLC was just to uh, introduce being able to ride in a in a vehicle with somebody else. Yeah, then they had some of the smaller Kubota stuff, right? Like. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not yeah. hating it. I'm not hating this, but dudes, like it's, it's yeah. For for our farming, it's just not cool. Wait. I could see, 
I can see if you like small scale farms and you play realistically, like super ultra realistic farm sim, you're probably loving it. Right. I, and I get that. And I, I understand. So I'm not like, I'm more like it's cool. I like it, but I don't see how we're going to play with this on a day to day basis. It's too slow. It's way too slow. We don't and have time for this. My big, my big, my big uh, thing was, is like, you know, I want to see it. I want to see it actually make slurry really be in the forefront of the fertilizer game, but it's not. Yeah. It's absolutely not. It needs to either make it more efficient or give you a better bonus. Exactly. Give us, give us a way better. We should be getting a multiplier for yield. Like add another like twenty, you know, add another thirty percent of yield on there. For the time it takes. For the time, for how much money it costs pumping all the stuff into the slurry. Also, too, you guys think of this well, base game. Take all the mods out of the game. You, you, people yeah. forget this fact really easily. Take all mods out of the game that can make you money or anything like that. All mods, no mods on your thing. Play with the DLCs. It does feel better. However, it still does not outweigh the normal cost of fertilizer and what you could do with slurry and Ooh, things you like that. Think all the diesel and all the repairs we're going to have to do on all this equipment after using it this much? Oh, yeah. It doesn't outweigh the cost of just buying fertilizer and spraying fertilizer. No, and, and it's so much quicker. We could literally drive to the shop and buy fertilizer every time and get it done quicker. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, we all we all know that slurry's slow, right? Like it, it's but, slurry slow, and all the other fert methods are way faster. We already know that, right? But where's the? This, why don't we gain anything extra for doing something slower? Where's the bonus? There's got to be an incentive. Yeah, there's got to be an incentive somewhere. Yeah, the only incentive is you get it for free as a byproduct. Yeah. Yep, that well, is. But what we need is a good mod that turns slurry into liquid fert. We do. We already have it. It's already on the server. Oh, we do. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we don't need to do that. We take slurry, <laughs> we dry it. We take slurry and we dry it. And then we take that and we add that with water and it'll make liquid fur. Oh. So we already have yeah. it, but we just... That's been, perfect. <laughs> that's why I was kind of saying, I'm just going to get the pigs up and running now for when, in a couple weeks, this comes out. So we have slurry to play with on the save and we don't got to, like, glitch it in. Right. To play with it, right? So, I mean, theoretically, so what... How many damn things can we hook up to that thing? Can we hook another hose and pump up to it, or? No, apparently not. <laughs> well, only one tractor for this set, that whole setup. Oh my gosh. So you'd have to have two green tanks, two pumps, and two of this six attachment tractors. things. Six track, Jesus, holy cow, man. Yeah, that's, that's hardcore. That's real hardcore. Who's got but that the, many tractors to run slurry like that? But though? the tractors don't have to be ho large horsepower, like Buddha was saying. No, they, can, they, they don't. can be they can be the little ten thousand dollar tractors. They don't gotta be anything like, crazy. I used to keep the little base tractors just to fill water and stuff like that. My my thing is is I'm hoping that these mechanics that have been added in by this third party DLC really breaks open the uh the modding side of the, the game. Oh, okay. And hopefully it adds a lot more things like water or irrigation. If it's just this and then nothing happens off of it, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. So you, I, think you the can, I don't think you can use the small tractors because that the black tank and this pump are both 200 horsepower. Really? Mm. I don't know what this trailer is. The Hold spreader on. you're using is 80 horsepower. The trailer's not on here. The tool thing requires 50 horsepower, so you need 130 just to run what you're doing. Uh, okay, okay. I got you. The green but, trailer is 70. Yeah. So you could use a base horse for that. Mm, what time is it? Nine something? Yeah, we're just testing this out real quick, and then we'll probably be done here in a sec, babe. Yeah, holy cow. I don't know. I... I Dude, I'm on the fence with it. I, don't, I think I'd have to sleep on it, think about it, and, like, the applications of actually what I want to do with it. You know what I mean? I still think you'd be better off just turning it into liquid fur and going 
Well, he yeah, big boy. I mean, <laughs> we're not just gonna play with this once and then be done. Hose popped off. Oh, the hose popped off? Uh -oh. um, Which doesn't weird. make any sense because you've got still got a big circle over there. Right. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> weird. 500 meters of hose. Oh, now the hose. Maybe it has to be stretched now, out. Now the hose wants to lay on the ground properly when I tabbed out and came back in. That's super weird. Okay. Uh. In. Well. Uh. Okay. Huh. And the water pump turned off too. Weird. Well, I mean, shit, dudes. I think it's, uh, honestly, to you, it's not worth it. Oof. I, dudes, like, I think it's kind of... For um, the money? Maybe with what the modders do with it, but... If they're even allowed to, man, that's the thing. Is this, yeah. is, Giant, is Giants going to allow them to mod stuff from a third party? Right? Are they going to allow the modders yeah. to even touch anything that has to do with third party? Like they're that the ones, be. they're the ones that allow people. To, I mean, we'll see it on, we will see people dissect this mod, or this DLC, and put it up on websites that are not Mod Hub. I can guarantee you that. But will we see any mods that are branched from this mod, or this DLC? Right? Will we will we see anything that pops out of uh, out of this? You know, allowed to be on the Mod Hub. I I don't know. I don't, I really have no clue. They allowed the Kubota. The Kubota stuff? Yeah, there's like modded Kubota stuff. Yeah, the, the, yeah, true, there is modded Kubota stuff. So maybe, I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't know fully the whole history or hierarchy of how they run their stuff over there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm really, really relatively new, right, to farm sim. So that's why it's kind of like I just grab something. Cool, I'm going to play with it. I try not to watch anybody's videos before I play with something because why? It makes fun content for us just to just fiddle around with things. So... You know what I mean? It does make it uh, interesting. I couldn't, I couldn't grab it. Just tossing hoses around. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer that... Uh, that's kind of a bummer that we couldn't take the, the pump and just put it next to this thing here. Right? Yeah, even though it says in the information that you just put it next to the trigger point. Yeah, which is really weird. So that's kind of odd. Maybe that's a you know, like I said, it's it's opening day. Let's uh, we'll we'll come back to it. We probably won't play with it tomorrow. Um, because you know, what are we gonna do, right? I think it'd be better for us to get our fertilizer production up and running. Yeah, we'll store all this stuff. We'll put a building over here. We'll store it all in there. Um, and then hopefully we can get a couple patches on it and stuff like that. Kind of see what's going down, uh, here in the, the near future with it. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a, uh, crap fest. I think right now, dudes, I'm giving it a 50, 50. I'm not sure. I'm not sure on it yet. That was a terrible dad joke, by the way. Yeah. Horrible. It's a crappy mind. I think the price plays a big factor in it too. Uh, I agree. I think the the price is a little bit. Yeah, uh, it was five like bucks, I, got I wouldn't worth. be as harsh on it. If it was five if it bucks, it was like five dollars. Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of feel ripped off. Not gonna it's, lie. it's almost a third of the price of the base game. I feel like the only way to really get your money out of this is if you are playing single player, because you guys had to just sit around in these things, or we had so many of these setups. That it kind of made it pointless to be even using in the first place. I don't know. It's it's kind of a miss. I think it's a miss. Yeah, it's a miss. It's definitely a miss. I don't even know what application I would even use this on. Maybe if the header was way bigger? Maybe if we could run more than one setup off of the tra the trailer, maybe? I don't I don't even know where to go with it. You know what I mean? Where do you where do you go with that, right? Hmm. <laughs> and we used about three hundred and fifty thousand liters of slurry. And we didn't even. And, and this is how much we double applied. Hold on. 
We we didn't even do half the field. We spent three we spent years worth of slurry storage from one pig pen. Right, one modded pig pen, by the way, which is yeah, has big. way more pigs <laughs> than a normal base game. And I mean, we're gonna have to run the cows too, right? Running slurry. If we would even want to think about even just doing this field alone double furted. This field alone right here would take a giant cow pen and those things just kicking slurry out constantly. And so that's kind of a, it's kind of a bummer. I'm kind of bummed, dudes. I'm not like mad. It sucks. I hope hopefully they 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 update this thing. Right? Hopefully they update it. But well, it needs a lot of tweaking. It's I I cannot give this my seal of approval. <laughs> the price of it was almost the price of a damn game. What was it? Twenty something dollars? Canadian? It was twenty three dollars Canadian. I think it was eighteen US. Yeah, yeah. It was eighteen. That's crazy, man. I definitely don't feel like I got my money's worth out of this one. Like it's cool, it's new stuff, and I feel like it's completely different from all of the rest of the mechanics of the game. But it it doesn't do anything. Yeah. It's it's we we could easily do all of this with mods. Well, let's free. just let's just put it this way: it doesn't fit our play style. We also have to remember that too. It doesn't fit our yeah, our play yeah. style, so it doesn't mean it's but useless. But whose play style is it gonna fit? That who's gonna have enough pigs to fert their farm constantly? Um, it depends, really, right? Like if you're running heavy, if you have a cow pen, cows produce a lot of slurry. Right, they produce a ton of slurry compared to pigs like they just like like they like there's yeah yeah and also too you gotta think we haven't been running these full pig pens we've been killing them off too right yeah. so yeah i mean we'd really have to ramp that up and get this set up just dialed in but then that would only give us one field over here we couldn't do this method on all of our farm there's no way no mm -mm, it wouldn't work so this is only for like realistic farm sim players to be honest this is not for players that want to just get out and do big fields and stuff like that. It's just not going to happen. Not happening, bros. Okay, but I think it's time for me to go cook some dinner, dudes. It's time. It's that It's that time. We've been playing for six and a half hours. I definitely wanted to get into this day. We'll, we'll touch a little bit on it tomorrow. We'll take a look um, a little bit, but we're definitely going to get the farm back in to uh, working order and all that good, happy stuff, so... I kind of butchered the the vods and everything like that for the night but um i don't know what i'm even gonna be able to use content wise out of this this hole today right maybe the harvest up to the harvest but this and some of the maybe some of the highlights of us being stupid <laughs> got the harvest and new field <laughs> and i mean I, I guess it was pretty funny watching those dumb dumbs trying to hook all this stuff up right <laughs> so yeah it's it's uh it's been fun I mean, we'll we'll definitely play with it a little bit more. Maybe if we do a small scale farm, like an RP or something like that, maybe we'll revisit it here. But that's sad to say on opening day with a brand new product, man. It's rough. Yeah, man. All right, Yella. See you later. Need to finish the laundry as well. Yeah, dudes, we're gonna we're gonna take it out easy out of here a little on the earlier side tonight, so I can uh, just kick back. Cause if I'm not cutting these vods down, then um. Yeah, maybe I'll make a make a video or something like that out of it next week or something when I have a little bit of time. But we will take a little bit of time off here and just relax and go hang out with the wife, go cook some food and kind of chill. So, J Rob Varus, thanks for coming and hanging out. Appreciate thanks it. For me. Yeah, man. Anytime. Yep. Uh, be safe with the uh, thing. If we don't if we don't hear from you guys, I know you guys said the things coming in and kicking in. So, yeah, bros. Be safe. Be safe, dudes. Hopefully everything goes well for you guys and your guys' house don't blow away and shit. So. Hopefully there's no crazy uh, property damage. And uh, guys, I will catch you guys tomorrow. We'll be jumping on and playing some more farm sim. And we will get the uh, the fields and everything like that put back in. And uh, we guess maybe get some more harvest and stuff like that going on. So, all right, dudes. Have a good one. Much love. Be safe. Uh, we'll catch you later. Yeah, dudes.